smoked this cracked. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, do you guys want to get these? Oh, shit, I think I'll put mine back. Do you have one? Oh, shit. Margaritaville Silver. Uh, ooh, Live it up, gentlemen. Live it up. Bye. Live it up. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, no free sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> I pay, 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 pay for that shit. Sponsor to you, bye. <laughs> Coming soon. Margaritaville Silver. Here we go, boys. All I think right. this is the first time we drink alcohol on the podcast, actually. Really? There's, hey, oh, I, I want to say so. First hey, time well, it was probably mandatory with me and Ace here. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it only makes sense with us here. That's how we're doing it, bro. <laughs> Cheers, this, is our, this is our Save Our Parks. This is our first podcast officially with the boys. Hey. I think on the new studio. Oh, yeah. Down the hatch, gentlemen. Salute. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That's harsh. Oh. Oh, that is not delicious at all. Oh, oh that is definitely cost a dollar. That's agave. It tastes like agave. Oh. Oh. And uh, agave. That was kind of nice, actually. That's oh. going to leave a mark. Nice. On the back. <laughs> I like, like last night. I love tequila, bro. What y'all's What y'all's liquor preference? What do you What do you What do you sit? Uh you know, mine has been. I don't. I feel like Patron Silver has been my thing forever. Like tequila really? in general, yeah, tequila, the tequila, tequila, general, yeah, forever. But it has to be chilled. I, I don't right. know. I have to do the chill thing. Yeah, yeah like this one. Yeah. This one would have been awesome chilled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it was great. It was great. No, no, no. Sorry, yeah, you yeah, can hide behind. I didn't the, think about that. Yeah, you, you can, can hide behind the, what you call it. You can hide behind you, the, the chillness. Yeah, the cold. I definitely hide behind the, yeah, the cold. The cold. <laughs> the cold helps hide the flavor. Uh, yeah, and the effect. Right, because that should be hitting, boy. Be hitting. Yeah, I'm a tequila guy. What about you, Nick? What do you what do you sip on? If I had to choose, I would say tequila. Like uh, during the week, if it's a special occasion, I like to do like a Irish scotch, like whiskey. Okay. You know, oh, like, Irish whiskey. There was, whiskey. A, there was okay. a random one that I just randomly grabbed and it was like, this is what I'm going to drink forever, but I couldn't find it again, you know. Mm. But uh, if it's like during the week, uh, there's rain. You know, I don't know if y'all have ever drinking that. Rain. Is it alcohol? Oh, it's alcohol. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's like uh, the energy drink, or it's, like uh, no, it's called, it's called Rain. And it's like eighteen ninety nine for a really big, like fancy looking bottle. Okay, is it like Rain, like with the weather, or rice, Rain, like yeah. the King? Rice vodka. R A I N. Yeah, and okay. that was vodka. That, that's maybe my go to on a budget. Okay, you know what I mean? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice. nice. It's my my go to is yeah. My go to is is Mikkel of Ultra. You guys know that. Mickey's, yeah, I'm, I'm, bro. Yeah, Mikkel of Ultras. Yeah, that's my public. Wait, the, stu- the studio that. drink. Hey, that's when, a studio did, when did you make the switch from Bud Light to Mikkel of Ultra? Uh, you know, that's a good question Around because yeah, that's right. Stuff. When we started working yeah. together, I was on the Bud Light. We were on the Bud Light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I I don't. That's Cracking a buds. great question. I have no yeah. idea. I think after I saw the. Kept the commercial Calorie. 90 oh, calorie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they got calories. you. I was like, oh, they Marty, got me. Dude, they got me. Sons of bitches. Calories. Right, no. They got yeah. <laughs> yeah, they definitely got me. So, that, yeah, that's my, that's my, that's my. Uh, my, my I like Michael Loves. Fuck yeah. Michael uh, Ultras? Yeah. yeah. I don't mind them. I'll make yeah. a Dos Equis. I don't really have too much of a preference. What are you going to say? Uh, for the studio, my switch went from Bud Light to White Claws. That's how most people know me. Bud Light. To bring, bring the White Claws to the studio. But, like, when they first came out, you know, it, you don't feel guilty drinking it, like because it doesn't feel less like guilty a beer, for sure. You know, yeah. like this and that. It's, it's almost like yeah. water to a degree. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's like carbonated water. Yeah, yeah. But... I have to. This is my first time with a white claw, but really, it, yeah, I don't. I don't oh. feel guilty at all. Is it your, <laughs> <laughs> is it your first first seltzer or your first white claw? No, this is my. This is yeah. This is my first white claw. I, it looks I like actually, I, it looks I, like I got another one, boys. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I know. One. I got yeah. I got to chill. Gotta get paid for that. That's because a lot of people's first white claws with me. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Okay. We're starting a line over We're here. In line. Right? We're in line. We should get you a sponsorship. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't know if I can handle, uh, handle white claws anymore. Like, I've, I've taken a break. Uh, Sorry, no no deal. <laughs> <laughs> really? But I, nah, I took a little break from it. Okay. Yeah. I guess it's true. You can have a little bit too much, right? Where it's just like you got. Oh yeah, you, you started. Or is, is that part of your break? Is or part of like your diet as well? You said yeah. you're starting up. Is it part of like no alcohol? Yeah. Right? Well, well, Whoa. no. Or not no, no alcohol. Sorry, no, sorry. Uh, liquor straight. <laughs> there, yeah, there yeah, you go. The soda, bro. Soda, fuck you well, up, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's like uh, a lot of ice with a heavy pour drink is what I'm doing now on um, the rocks and. Uh, like so, the say the session starts. Mm-hmm. It'll sit there. It'll melt. Let time go by. Yeah, like, a little dilution. The, the clients already had about two. Okay, all right. You get some work done. Get a little sip for the there award. Go. There you go. Job gets done. Yeah, down the hatch. Yeah, there's there's sure. definitely a science to drinking in the studio. That's for right. sure. And okay. Yeah. Say, dude, <laughs> if you're gonna drink four or five nights a <laughs> hey. week, you got to figure out a methodology. You got to figure out, a, yeah, for sure. Yeah, right. For sure. Yeah, I guess yeah. I was talking about the studio. For anyone who doesn't know, I guess 
These are our producers. Sure. Some best in the city. Hey. Fucking yeah. shout outs. Yeah. If you make music, whatever you do, they got some shit. Yeah, we were super blessed to have met Ace before we had met Nick. Um, Ace was working for someone who was using higher end producers, making higher quality music than everybody around us. So a lot of people were using like garage studios or like closet studios and stuff like that. But you were always like this elevated. If you've got a banger, you should save up some money and try to go maybe to this guy. But you also, I feel like you were more exclusive back then too. Like, I don't think we could just get a regular appointment with you because we didn't know you like that. But then we got introduced and then you were like, dude, come through anytime. And yeah, then since right. then it's been magic, dude. That's right. I, I, yeah, I, I feel like it. Uh, I've been very lucky. My story, like I feel like when I came down here, I've never advertised. Um, it's it's just mm -hmm. been word of mouth type thing, and and even that's lucky, you know. That's but, crazy, bro. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, and so yeah, I I remember that that we got together by by through word of mouth. It was it was yeah. that, and and, and yeah. we had we had we had we did we did some amazing work for a actually long time. amazing work. Yeah, it's been like years. Since yeah, like our yeah. First time how, how long? How long do you guys think? It's, it's been probably like at least three. No, at four. I would say six it was years. Before, it was before COVID for sure. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think I, I was twenty four. Seeing Ace Dude. in the studio, <laughs> and seeing y'all guys, Fuck. like Jesus. Because like, before we actually met, we met twice. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, you're talking at the studio at a line light or something or where, no where else? through Spy. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, enough said. Enough <laughs> said. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear that story. No, I'm just like, I guess not. Dude. I was telling you earlier, we were throwing a party. I, I to, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, enough said. Yeah, enough said. I used to live in a, hey, that, ghetto, uh, no. that ghetto apartment I was talking about that yes. I lived downtown. Yes. Well, that's the first time uh, I met them. They they came to the apartment. Ah. I remember thinking that guy's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was chill. Yeah. That's yeah. the homie, I think. That's that's yeah, homie. Yeah, 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 I got good vibes. See, I, <laughs> I, I, I remember thinking I saw those guys at the studio, and of course, mm. like, uh, uh, shout out to Spy MC, you know, uh, yeah. asked me to do that. You know? Yeah, he's such a plug. Like, okay, like, connects everybody. I, I had limelight players. in my mind. It was like through spy, like a like a, a sub, <laughs> yeah. a sub connection. Yeah, you were there. Uh, yeah. I, I was halfway there. Yeah, that's funny. But say, yeah. damn, bro, it's been like four years. Wow, four, four, plus, four years, four, four years, four to five. And, and then the other you night. guys, you guys started working. To, so we had worked for a little bit, I believe, right? For yeah, a couple yeah. years, and then you guys started working. Y'all have done some amazing stuff as well. I've heard a Dude, lot of the stuff. And, bro. Yeah, Nick has changed my career yeah, we're going in a way I really can't thank you enough for, dude. Seriously. He'll find the sound. I always remember back to the time where we transitioned working from Ace to where I would just like text you and be like, "Hey man, like I need I needed to just start making music in my routine. Like once a week, I just needed to go to the studio and like do it for creative exercise. And you're always available. And everything we made was so good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, yeah. agreed. Hey, and you know when y'all want to have sessions at 10 a.m., it's always available. That, uh, that's what I was telling Ace earlier. Uh, I was like, yeah, yeah kind of there for that. Work around 10, 11 a.m. You know, yeah, mm -hmm. and, uh, that was the best because I used to like to wake up and shit. I would either go to the gym and then go to the studio, or go to the studio and then go to the gym, then go to work, and then just like boom, 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 boom. That's, that's what he was saying. Yeah, the the, the y'all would hit the gym and then hit yeah, hit the studio. Yeah, you look closer. Oh my bad. Yeah, you're good. How you there doing? it is. Yeah, yeah, going to the boom arms. Like, fuck my bad. Yeah, yeah you can't really just see 10, the thing. 10 a.m. is so I don't know how you do it. 10 a.m. for well, 10 a.m. for me is. Hey, you got to think about it this way. You got to think about like your brain's fresh, and then yeah. like you're having a coffee, and then like your first morning smoke. I know you don't yes. smoke, but like you have yeah. your first morning smoke. There's something and special guess what? about like, that. Your ears are really like not fatigue. You know, like right. they are just like on on, uh, on the moment. You know, Maybe there's one of them. I think maybe we maxed out the capacity on that camera. All right, hold on. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Coors Light. When this shit is done. I'm going to hug the man. shit out of you. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to hug the shit out of you, bro. Yeah. That's, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, you know, um, it, it, she's going to be a girl. Yeah. So I'm going to be a girl dad like Chris Pratt. Girl. I think Chris Pratt was the first dude I ever saw say, girl dad. And I was like, the fuck's he talking about? You know what I'm saying? Weird. It's like a thing. Hey. Wow. Girl dad right here. Dude, I'm with you. Girl Such dad. a blessing. Yeah. Such a blessing, man. Congratulations. Thank you. That is Thank amazing. you. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. It's a crazy. I was like, cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. For sure. We, did, we just did a reveal. We just did a reveal. We had some. Damn. News. Another yeah, another technical wow. difficulty, but that led to this reveal, grand reveal before we Yo, came what back amazing, on. What an amazing year for you, baby guys. coming in, baby coming in. It's insane. I can't. I really can't. The new business with the new baby. Sometimes mm -hmm. I think that the her name is Demi, and then Demi. Um, it, I, I like to say Demi, and that's like if Demi Moore introduces herself, she's like, "Hi, I'm Demi Moore." So I like Demi Elohim Millet. That that's her name. 
Um, okay. It's the best wow. bar I ever wrote, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Agreed. what I'm saying? Wow. Best bar I ever wrote. Best bar Dami, I ever wrote. Elohim. And Elohim is a... Uh, Elohim is... You're blessed by the Elohim. Yeah. It's a... Um, religion. Like God with us? Is that what that means? Or it, is that different? Is that Emmanuel? I think that's Emmanuel. Um, it's a Hebrew word is the thing I'm trying to think of. It's a Hebrew word for God. Same way Emmanuel is a word for God, right? Uh-huh. But this, it's God the creator. Like I'll the, look it up The right creator now. of the heavens and earth. The person the, the person that made your life and made trees and like created everything in the seven days. Yeah. It's like, um, so then the me is almost like Spanish or Italian for like of my or of me. So her name is, if you ask me what her name is translated to, it's, it's of creation of my creator is what I think her, her name means. And, uh. My mom, she, you know, she named Beautiful. me Matthew and she named my sister Grace. And I feel like when I was just thinking about, because it was almost like a writing exercise, like, what would you name your fucking kid? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. that's a heavy thing, yeah. you know? Supreme one or mighty one. Yeah, that's what it came back with on Google Translate. Mm-hmm. Or it's like, yeah, it's like, ask Google, or what, what is the real meaning of Elohim? And that's one of them. I've yeah. heard it There's in others. that verse. There's others. Yeah. Huh. I, I heard it in a rap verse. You really? Yeah, it says, you got blessed by the Elohim. Ah, Praise Elohim is the world the greatest. Yeah, that's what that's another reason why I like it is where where I had heard it originally was. That's another reason why I like it is where where I had heard it originally was. Um, Jay Z has a bar on the album 444 where he's like, uh, what? How does he say it? Praise Elohim is a whole new regime. That's it. Oh, okay. That's what you said, right? Yeah. I think he's saying a different song, which is crazy. Oh, yeah, you got blessed by the Elohim. So oh, show, him, the, show, so show the world the greatest thing you've ever seen. So here's uh. how that name hit me in the face was because um, her we had a different middle name we were working, but I didn't like it. And then uh, I, I knew I wanted to change it, but I knew I needed to pitch a fucking fastball. You know what say, I'm saying? When you're, when you're naming your child, it needs to be fucking bangers coming out. Yeah, yeah. 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 You need to yeah. come in with the bangers. I was sitting on a rose. <laughs> and and I, I, I like rose. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to rose. And I like the 4-4, four, four, making an eight-character name for the first and middle. You know what I'm rose saying? Rose Demi? Is that, what, is that De- what you're saying? Demi Rose was going to be oh, my I name initially. Four, four. I That's yeah. a rock star name. Got it. Right? Or <laughs> rock star, porn star. I don't know. That's It's scary. Uh, it's a fine line. Never. Fine line. It's a fine line between the two. You know what I'm saying? I got to raise it right, but regardless. <laughs> <laughs> Parents and baby. Oh. No, but you never Just know. It's not destiny. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get to the bottom of this thread. It was, uh, so I'm sitting there driving in my car and I remember thinking just in my own mind, I had this like kind of not intrusive thought, but inspired thought that was like, I wish I could just name her Demigod. You know what I'm saying? I, anytime, if I ever die, I want her to think about her name and be like, I want her to hear my voice in her head saying, I know exactly what you were when I named you. Like when Kanye's like, I told you what I thought I was. Mm-hmm. Oh God. You I know? told you. Yeah. Like I want yeah. that moment where like for my voice where I'm like, I told you what I thought you were. Like yeah. a Demigod almost, you know what I'm saying? Bigger than life. Yeah. And so I was like, I wish I could. And then I'm listening to this song called uh, Saturday Morning Cartoons, and it's a new song with Corday. He dropped an album this year. I, I don't know too much about this guy, Corday, but he had Lil Wayne on the feature. So I play that song a lot, and it's a banger. Lil Wayne eats that verse up. It's nice. But in Corday's verse, he goes, uh, uh, something about my self-esteem was low as my credit, but I keep on going, and I thank the Elohim that I woke up this morning. Uh, and I was just like bars. It like hit me in my chest. Like I was yeah. like, oh, Elohim is like a beautiful name. Yeah. That is beautiful. Yeah. And then I remember the Jay Z song that I love so much with that bar yeah. sticks out. Yeah. And I'd heard a sermon about how that that song really means, or that there's a bunch of names for God, but the Elohim in particular meant like the Creator, the one that made it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that was at CBC, I'd heard that. And that brought a lot of reference to that Jay-Z bar. I was like, oh, that's what that means. I didn't really know. Well, he 100% was, what he was saying. Yeah, yeah, nah. And then it re-clicked with that. Right when I was like, I wish I could just name her Demigod. And then it was like, Elohim's a name for God. Yeah. And it's beautiful. And I was just like, ding. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Lined up. Yeah, that yeah. it's got a beautiful name. And, and you know, you're going to have to sleep on it too, you know, because like my daughter was going to be named a whole bunch of different things. Yeah. A whole yeah. bunch of possibilities. And, yeah. And like, so... The situation that happened uh, with naming my daughter was we all agreed on harmony, right? Because you know right. harmony, it's Beautiful. A, it's a musician mm-hmm. name. Mm-hmm. And uh, my baby mama, oh god, this is gonna kill me. Uh, <laughs> uh, she wanted to use her last name as her middle name, which was Luna. You know, like squeezing, mm-hmm. squeezing her like maiden name yeah, in there somehow. I, 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 I and, hate that. And I was like, well, you know, I was like, you know what? Let's just do Harmony Moon. 
what instead of Harmony Luna. Well, you don't you want know? the multi the cultural, <laughs> the, the bilingual oh, aspect. No, it's just you like, a problem with the bilingual. Don't, <laughs> don't be squeezing that last name in, you know, yeah. you know, in the middle name. You feel uh, me? I see. Uh, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, and uh, uh, we ended up on Harmony Moon, and I mean, I think that's pretty pretty sweet. Yeah. And uh, well, a uh, crazy little fun fact is that uh, the night that she was born, there was other uh, two other Harmonies born in the same same the hospital. hospital. Really. Yeah. So like the That's nurses cool. were like the nurses were like we never get this like oh my god three like, babies with the same name like, yeah like, and it's all harmony all these harmonies all harmonies. Yeah. bro you, you were lined up that you were day, lined bro. up yeah, yeah, your life like was a, lined up yeah, yeah. Yep. that's pretty strange a guy was like mellow yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on yeah, that's yeah. hard I'm into that yeah well, I fuck with that one more one final is that is that her name. Harmony Moon, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, thought you, I thought you were saying that like that was a potential, then you switched it to something else. I didn't think that's where I was going. No, nope. yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, we decided on Harmony Moon, Pache. Yeah. yeah, you have to sleep on it, though, because there was Rose really like, th- maybe like within seven days of thinking we were going to settle on that name, it wasn't sitting with me right. And I was like, nah, like, I, and then that ain't it. I need a fucking fastball or I'm not going to win the argument that we should change the name because yeah. we're starting to let it settle. And okay. it's just like, yeah. So sleeping with it's a real thing because yeah. if you, you don't like it, you don't like it. For a while or uh, Well, because we had a, a toss up for a while. Oh, okay. But then once we found Harmony. What was the Harmony other contender? Moon, uh, uh, Harmony Luna. Uh, man. Was, the first, was it a first name? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, her, her, the first first name we tried to do, I wanted to do something that sounded like Nick. You know, okay. So that wasn't going to work. You know, <laughs> yeah. Natasha. What's the, what's the, okay, yeah, what's the female you know, version of Nick? Nicole? Pretty, Nicole. I mean, Dude. That's not going to work. <laughs> that's you know? fire. What are you talking about? No, that's fire. Okay. That's it. I know, but you, you, like, no offense to any Nicole out there, but like, that's like a like fifth kid down the road. <laughs> Babe, you know, like, all right, that's Nicole, you know what I mean? Nicole like, Kidman? Fuck it, Nicole. Nicole. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You're, you're second. Kid, you're, I'm, you're at a, I'm at a horrible. I'm out of creative juices. Hey, Fuck no, it. No, because, yeah, because, no, because, like, your second, your, your second and first kid okay. is going to have the creative name, but, like, you know, yeah, hey, okay, okay. you bust a couple more out. It's like, all right. Okay. No way, bro. That's, like, your third album. You're just going to give up on your no, third album? Hey, but, no, but dude. That, I'm like, nothing was the same. After that, it's Nicole. Nate, uh, F- Natasha, there you know, go. Hey, er- everything on the dick doing? side. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. But. Dude, we can get. Keep- yeah, I'm with you. Dude, you yeah. start running out of rhymes. You start running yeah. out of bars. Yeah. You got to work That's with like what's left in yeah. the barrel. Yeah. 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 You can get more creative than that. Nicolette's you know? crazy. This guy's a machine. <laughs> Nicolette is good. Get yeah. him around, dude. <laughs> I might just <laughs> have a kid for that. No, <laughs> the, next, the next baby girl coming in. Nicolette, you will be born. Nicolette. Mm-hmm. Yo, one other really crazy thought that I haven't shared with anybody about um, Demi just feeling like, because, okay, well, the other thing is in the restaurant industry, I was really exposed to, I'd never really heard Demi thrown around my fucking man matrix like at all right yeah. but when we started this new restaurant mm-hmm. one of the things we were doing was a demi glaze and a port demi uh, and so i had to remember those words sauces. and then it kind of got this imprint of like this little sauce that some people like you know what i'm saying i don't want to name my kid after a fucking sauce you know what i'm saying <laughs> like, <laughs> so when i would say the name to the people that worked at the restaurant they'd be like oh like a port demi what the fuck you're gonna name your kid after a sauce you know what i'm saying sauce? Oh, come so on. there was like this little a little hint of but i'm thinking about like when i tell my stepdad you know her name is demi elohim like yeah. i don't think he's gonna his reference point isn't port demi what the fuck you know what i'm saying his yeah. reference point is demi Moore. you know what i'm saying yeah. demi lovato demi lovato yeah, yeah. So, and then so um and then every time I would say the name to try to like break into someone's matrix with it I would say like you know like Demi Moore like that was usually the first one I went to. Yeah. So then we were at um Marissa's baby shower with her family okay. maybe last weekend or whatever uh-huh. and it was the same night as the Canelo fight which is cool because her I don't know how he's related sister's husband came okay. through and like hooked us up for the Canelo fight. So we're like watching it live while they're opening presents, presents and stuff like that. And we bet some money on it, just like something light. So we were like real fucking locked in, you know? Yeah. And then there was one moment where they fucking pan to the audience and they're like superstars in the house tonight. And then it was Demi Moore. Oh. Whoa. And I was sitting there and I was just like, yo, I'm fucked up right now, bro. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, do, 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 wow. do, do, do. And that is the only celebrity that they showed. They didn't even go to anybody else. What? For real. Okay, that's fucked up. Yeah. Right? Like, do, 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 yeah. I was just like, okay, this is like, we, we found the right name. That's you know? random. Yeah. Or like, that's quote unquote random for 
if I was an audience or watching that fight, I would have been like, that was random. Yeah. <laughs> like, Super, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a weird one celebrity. If it was like the president or like fucking Beyonce. Yeah. Or like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, well, I thought they were going to do like, you know, fucking. The celebrity row. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I thought yeah. the next like, one I just envisioned. Courtside. Exactly, bro. Yeah. Fucking what's the yeah, white Carmelo Anthony name? or fucking Ryan, John Cena. Uh, yeah, I was thinking actors, you know, but even so, yeah, Ryan anybody Gosling. famous. Ryan Gosling, there we go. That's who I expected to be next was Ryan Gosling. And it was just like, all right, back to the fight. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? That's you all. Know? Crazy. Wow. And it's cool. Her uh, cousin's names are Liam and Mila, oh. which is on a they're side anagrams. Note. Yeah, their names are anagrams. I think that's fire bars from their parents. That's hard. Mm. Like, that's that's artistic mm. shit. M-I-L-A-L-I-A-M. It's fire. But then Demi's also a four character name that slides into that bunch. I'm just like, oh. we're, we're writing hits over here. We're writing yeah, hits. yeah, yeah, definitely. You know yeah, that's at least a course. Life hits. <laughs> Life hits. That's, that's at least a hook. hook. That's at least yeah. a hook. Yeah, yeah. So I guess, I guess yes. we're all now dad daughters here. Yeah. 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 Insane. Ace. Well, I'm, it is. I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> every weekend. Yeah, every weekend. No <laughs> rush. No <laughs> rush, brother. But now that these white claws are here, you hey. know. Hey. Oh, no, tonight's, tonight's the night. Tonight's, tonight's the night. Eventually, eventually it'll scratch. be the night. Yeah, Whenever eventually. It's eventually night, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is that night. And then it would like, be that night. You just, it happens. Yeah. Yeah. Nine yeah. months later, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's how yeah. it goes. Yeah. I mean, you know? Dude, you want to hear something? The math checks out. I was pitching. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's one things we, one of the things we like to do here is push the envelope. So if we ever just go for a joke that's out of pocket, you just gotta roll with it. Got it. All right, roll got, it. got it. But I was pitching heat in the sack. Uh, okay. Right around the time she got Sounds pregnant. Like it. I mean, even I was like, Let's damn, boy. Full moon. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know I tapped into some werewolf energy Did somewhere you? in there. Because that was... <laughs> Something told you to bust. Dude. <laughs> yeah, it was her. You got no, controlled by the bus, <laughs> the bus gene. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yo, that's terrible. We should edit that out. But uh, um, it's just funny. When I think back at that time, I was like, dude, I was really in a bag back then. I was really... Um, I had a lot of testosterone going, you know? Uh -oh. Yeah. oh, so you're pushing for a boy. <laughs> no, no, dude, I, yeah, I, I was... It, I thought my whole life I was going to have a boy. I never once in my entire 30 years of being alive thought about having a girl. Just like, you know, never thought about it. Yeah. And I, it was because I was such an athlete and I, and it never worked out for me. And I really feel like in a different timeline, I could be playing, you know, Canada football or basketball in fucking Israel or something like that. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of ways yeah. athletes end up being professionals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I thought to myself, I'll really pass this knowledge down to my kid. Because mm -hmm. if my parents could have taught me what I know when I was like in elementary school, no problem I'd be in the league but they just didn't know that's you know what, what it saying? takes nowadays mm -hmm. pretty much well yeah unless you're a fucking phenom and even then you still need the direction for sure dude like mm -hmm. just if they had me eating right and doing footwork like something light you know what I'm saying <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what it's light <laughs> what calf <laughs> races yeah. push ups I don't fucking know <laughs> they pushed me to compete you know what I'm saying that was yeah. good they always pushed me to compete yeah you were in soccer yeah. and shit for sure like mm -hmm. always was like they, let's go to practice let's right. compete uh, shout out to your dad because I know you always talk about your dad all the time yeah yeah he's fire shout out Jonathan fire dad Jonathan Millet he just I'm gonna need to ask that man one day. Or I think I'm gonna ask that man to to be the officiant or the whatever it is. Yeah. At the wedding. Oh, dude. Oh, the official. What? He's there, bro. He's so now we got it. a wedding happening yeah. over here. Yeah, bro. Fucking oh, yeah, March. Yeah. Hey, hey, drop it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Life, there we go. Oh, here we go. Dude, Everyone. Wow. Dude, these guys are dropping some bombs on yeah, us. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. I think we need to be inter interviewing you guys. Life is going ah, crazy, right? y'all. Life is going crazy right nuts. Now. Sometimes wow. in the studio, and it's not that I don't want to open up these boxes with you guys, but it's just like I'm so channeled, and I'm like, yeah. I, I don't want to deviate from my channel right now. I just want to like, and then when we right. finish recording, I'm always wiped. Like if yeah. we record or we perform, I'm always dead afterwards, and it's yeah. just hard to even fucking fire neurons like to think at all. And I'm just trying to honest. Sometimes I'm just trying to slide out of there so I can go like sit down for a little bit and just be like, yeah. whew, that it's was some shit. I don't know what that is. You know what I'm saying? It it, it takes a lot because you're uh, you're behind the mic. Uh, you're on the pressure, or like maybe that's what it is, right? Uh, I feel like I, I get like that too, though. In yeah. my sessions, I, I especially production, like yeah. af afterwards, I sometimes I feel like I've been running. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just because for me, yeah, the, yeah. Mind, the the wheels are turning. The, the, the you know it's just you get going burned and, out. Uh huh. And for me, like I'm always, I feel like. My process, I always feel like I'm like trying to think of th the three steps ahead before we're, you know what I mean, where, yeah. where we're at or yeah. whatever. And yeah. I think that is what gets me exhausted personally. But I, I definitely mm. know, you know, when the wheels are turning, when you're when you're thinking, trying to trying to create. I mean, it's definitely 
it can definitely take a toll. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think, for sure. Especially mm-hmm. as the artist, uh, the artist uh, point of it, because you know you got to put the motion in it too. Yeah. 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 You, yeah. you got to have the performance. I yeah. Think you know? the, mm-hmm. So sometimes I do creative exercises when I'm not in the studio. Just to like, I think that they're important. I think that they help a lot. Just to like, it's almost like my brain's ability to think of something quote unquote creative is kind of like a muscle. And if I just like keep doing it a little bit, then it's easier for me to just wiggle into that like, oh, they didn't see that coming. Or like, you wouldn't expect that, but it's funny, right? Like, I can jump into that faster if I keep it active. But when I go into the studio with you guys and I'm really trying to showcase that muscle and I'm trying to like kind of max it out a little bit, I think that like being in that space of like, come on, be fresh, be original, be fresh, do something new. When I, when I, and and there's a lot of pressure because I think my reputation's at stake while I'm doing that. Like my, almost like my value is based on my capacity to do this if I want to be successful, you know? But a little bit of pressure sometimes, Mm -hmm. but I I, I accept it because pressure makes diamonds sometimes. No, yeah, yeah, facts. But regardless, the pressure combined with the creative muscle going off and then the performance aspect. Because I I, also, when you're in the studio, I'm performing for you and and you, like you guys never heard these bars. And if I walk in there and they're weak, it's not going to hit. But if I walk in there and I'm like, boom, and I just mm. drop it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everyone in the studio is like, oh, my God, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Let's shoot, see, uh, shoot a video. Uh, don't beat yourself up because a lot, sometimes it's it's organically created. So it yeah. takes you being in, the in there. It takes you being in the uh, yeah. in the booth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But look, like, look at the team you got around you. It's insane. Every time you're in the booth, Justin's right there. Uh, I'm right there. Our ace is right there. And like, look, we're letting you do your thing, and then look what comes out. Yeah, pressure makes diamonds. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. There's an aspect to where, I feel when, that. when we're in the studio, we're paying money for the studio time, so we have to like try to maybe maximize our efficiency mm. in the studio. So I don't want to go in there and just be like, hold on, let me fucking think for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So as the studio time goes on, the pressure goes higher and higher if we haven't been putting output out because I'm like, fuck, dude, you can't spend $120 doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? You should be like, fuck it, scrap it all. But I should... it's out. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best verses I've written We've in the last few year, though. It fucking happens, bro. It fucking yeah. happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the nature of the beast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But th- to say that, though, with the thing about organic shit is like a, a, wh- I was in the studio with you and we were trying to write pop pop. Okay. And we had came up with the beat. And, dude, I was just struggling. Like, I mean, yeah. I thought I was going to walk in and just make a song. It's cool. Whatever. We'll come up with a hook. It's tight. Not thinking of anything. And you're sitting there like with a notepad and paper talking oh. to me about let's just fucking come on. This song feels like drinking to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Say something mm. about drinking. I know you don't rap about drinking much, but it's the hook. Just fucking come on. Something. Yeah. And I'm like, I got to make it deeper than that. Come on. What are we doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then what are we doing here? <laughs> we come up with pop, pop, bottles now, faded, uh-huh. faded, money on my line. So be patient. And then, then I come back to write that verse, a different studio session. And I can't think of shit, dude, like uh-huh. nothing. We spend an hour together. And in the last five minutes, I think of what's the first line of that song is pop that bottle. Can you let that cork fly? Yeah. And then the rest of the whole song is different from that. Like, it's almost like I say, boom, boom, boom. And then I just go down the rabbit hole afterwards. Yeah. But all we came up with in that whole hour was just that first little part. And I had to leave and be like, fuck, bro. I guess mm-hmm. Sometimes sometimes this is what happens, you know? Well, you It's know, interesting uh, to hear to hear that side, I feel like, for me. Like, yeah. I, I mean, because I, I feel like when we're locked in, we're locked into the screen, right? And seeing, mm. okay, what, what yeah. we're thinking about, like, frequencies or what do I got to cut or what can I add here, the reverb or what effects and stuff. I like that and, you're always working because yeah, it does yeah. take pressure off of me because I'm like, he's doing shit the whole time. I'm over here trying to figure out my shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. But it's interesting to hear that. Yeah. I, I, do you feel like that? I, I don't know. I, it's, it's very interesting because the story you told me is like, like, because like a lot of people don't know this, like, Ace is the one that kind of really taught me uh, a lot of stuff. You know, hey, everyone praise Ace, man. You, oh, you know, stop. Ace, stop, stop, stop. Oh, yeah, I want to get back real. to this. Um, you know, he's the one that taught me, you know, uh, you know, if you get frustrated in there, like, guess what? You're not alone. You know, like back in the day, like when, uh, you know, uh, you know, like we, we would start some, we couldn't get that next lyric or, that, man, oh, my God, the studio session is going badass because we wrote the badass beat. <coughs> You know, Ace starts bringing out, you know, the phone or, you know, like y- y'all deal with that too. And like, uh, mm-hmm. you know, that reflects from, from me learning from him. That was true service in my mind you know? when I was thinking about like me being a, 
um like a patron at your studio yeah. and then you were like no nah, just come out bro just like hold on let's fucking just sit here and think for a second and like that's what uh, it that's takes cool. that's yeah. cool and then i feel like your your vibe net thing yeah. about it now i, I, it I feels really yeah close. that's my trick really close. yeah because we, <laughs> that's we, my did, tool. we did a few albums oh, together man. right like Dude, we did song after song as, just yeah, like that just like yeah just as, like that. as an artist yeah and yeah. so that's right yeah yeah a part of my uh, a lot of my engineering man was was helped from you know, you show me the guidance you showed me, man. Oh like, man, you know, that's I appreciate you know, that. Because like I, I was in a lot of studios uh, before I met you, but no one was ever a producer. You mm. feel me? What do you mean? No, like no one ever like took your song to the next level. They just recorded you. They just recorded me. Yeah, yeah we and, experienced uh, that. You know, there was no insight. Dry on the mic. Yeah. You know, like like what's your feedback? Oh yeah, we got it. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, and we'd ask for auto tune, <laughs> and the shit that would come back was wild. And then they'd oh. be like, "Dope, right?" We'd be like, "No, what the fuck?" Yeah, and then we yeah. try to work on it. Not but, dope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ace does a fucking lays it down, plays it back for you. You're like, Man. "Dude, what the hell?" He's like, "Well, let me put the sauce on it." Like, well, oh I, shit! I didn't. Sauce on I it? didn't know <laughs> that the engineers are actually because yeah. when we when uh, before we started working, I had yeah. asked a couple people, you know, about uh, en- engineering to help me out at, at, at my spot, and then uh, me and Nick got together, but. I didn't know that uh, if you go to engineering school that they actually teach you the engineers not to say anything to the artists, like they're they're taught That's not. A teaching point. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, really? as if, as an engineer, don't you you don't tell them you know don't give them any feedback, and so that might be the reason why I think as t- as time has gone on, the producer has kind of taken that on another role, that engineer role. So the producers are ones that usually. Like back in the day, I feel like you know you always had the the guy sitting at the board who was quiet. If you look at videos from back in the day, then you had another guy behind the the, exactly. the guy with the board, and he, that was a producer saying, "Okay, do it like this, do it like that." Yeah. So everybody kind of like director. Had, yeah, yeah, almost like a director. Yeah. Exactly, almost right. like a director. And I think I've seen that in videos. Yeah, yeah, and and Sorry. and so I think now as as you know, technology is, is involved and and everything's changed, and I think the producer has more of a role now. Like, Man. I mean, even even to where the yeah. you know, like you said, the writing. Like you, you know, yeah. just to give ideas. I yeah. mean, you know, so, yeah. so you're engineering. Creativity. Yeah, you're engineering vocal production. You're doing. You're, uh, you know what I mean. You're you're producing the track, yeah. the the tracks. So, you know, yeah. it's yeah. good service, dude. Yeah. yeah, which is undeniable wherever it's at, dude. Like yeah, if you like, can do more for people, <coughs> it's always appreciated. Yeah. Like the main three th- uh, three things that I learned working with Ace was, don't ever leave the chair. <laughs> right. What do you mean? Like, don't ever leave the chair. Why, Tell though? me when Ace leaves the chair. <laughs> he, he stays working. He's strapped just in. The yeah. oh, yeah. Just the hey, piss. Just the piss. That's it. Every once in a while. He usually plays the mix for us and goes, peace. Hey, I guess so. <laughs> you, yeah. yeah. Like, you, know what I, you know what I mean, though? Like, <laughs> right, like right, hey, right. you're getting paid. You know, stay in the chair. And then the other thing is the vibe. Mm. He taught me how to work with people. And then he taught me how to work fast. Because guess what? You can't be figuring out your drum snare. With uh, uh, the time running and the mm. client just sitting there like, dude, all the creativity went out the roof. Ace already, like, you showed me, bro. Like, like, okay, already have your pack ready. You know, have your, like, certain sound ready to go make it hot. You know what I mean? Wow, that is, hey, I appreciate that, man. Oh, man. Yes, bro. It's cool to hear, but, but you, know you, you know this, bro. Come on, man. Yeah. Like, you know, you took me under your wing, like, fucking. Hold on, when you say took, took you under his wing, what do you mean? Yeah, so I wanted to circle. I think we, we you talked about it briefly oh, before okay. we had to take our break, but I think we're going to circle right back to what you wanted to talk about about well this. Well, we first uh, we first met uh, because somebody wanted a song for the chicks. So who did they call Nick Shan? Hey. Hello for the chicks. Hello. That was yeah, word on the street. They wanted a girl. Oh, called no, Nick, they bro. wanted uh, and it was it was good. You were you were called Dallas Mac, so I mean, it was only, <laughs> it was only <laughs> right. <laughs> no way, Dallas <laughs> Mac. That's my. Uh, that's, that's another that's story. Awesome. Yeah, that's something else. Know, that's he something. seems intrigued by that yeah, story. Yeah, he was super connected. Dallas Mac. Did you ever rap? Did you have you ever rapped just like on a mic, like performed rap? As Dallas Mac? Yeah, that's my no, question. I haven't, but that would be the name. <laughs> that would be <laughs> Okay, there was a Dallas something that was in the local scene when, around the time. I, I saw a Dallas something. He had longer hair. I thought maybe I caught you hey, way you back. you ain't heard nothing, You Dallas Mac. <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm have another they heard, biggest have fan. Have they heard some of, your, some of the stuff that we... <laughs> never, bro. You haven't hey, heard the Nick Shan yeah, artist. Yeah, you never heard. Yeah. No, they, they, know me, they only know me as the mm. engineer producer. They got only it, know me as that. Got I've heard his artistry a bunch, actually. He's clearly an artist. He's an artist. But like, just like a... Uh, long story short, me and Ace, we meet, and like, guess what? I'm already hearing the name, you know, but like, I'm picturing like 
And like, not that you you're not a superstar or something like that, but I'm, I'm picturing this like glory god, like you know, like Michael Jackson, oh, one, you're <laughs> reincarnated. Cool. Hey, just so you know, tonight the sessions with you know, so yeah, so dude. Th- th- like uh, this is probably like, man, we're probably like talking like 2010, bro. Wow, right? Wow. Damn, it, had, it had to have been. It had to, yeah. It had to have Thinking been. about it. So you had the same effect ten years so, later. When wow. we met, yeah. Know, but like, that's so amazing. Like, it's amazing. I, I walk in and like, like. Like we're not naming the artist names or nothing like that, but like they were already like working with Ace, so like they knew Ace can really turn anything into gold, right? So they're just going in there like throwing their like, you know what I mean? You you yeah. would whip it up, bro. I yeah. mean, and uh, I just got it. I, I did I did my little thing on the guitar and like uh, the click, and I, uh, to me it felt like Ace uh, didn't work with a musician in a while. Right, like it felt like he was just working with a lot of rappers, right? Like, mm. like the typical like that's rap not, sound. That's not what I think of Ace now. I feel like you're an Ace oh, with the well, music, with the instruments, particularly. Oh, yeah, dude, he he's but maybe rec- but he, maybe he's recorded think... UGK. Okay, <laughs> that's a, <laughs> that's that's a yeah, rap. yeah, yeah, but, yeah. That's, but yeah, I think back then it was gangster. mostly it was mostly rap. Well, was, well for that time, like mm-hmm. it's just the vibe that I got. Yeah, yeah. but like yeah. we hit it off. Guys, you know, so you were an artist at the time, are you like he was recording you? Yeah, Mm -hmm. I was doing a feature for uh, a rap group, got it. And yo, the next day we booked a session and and we started working on music therapy volume one, doing your own uh, thing and like not the feature, you're just doing your own thing. Oh man. I Nick played Shane, the, I played the piano and sang Ace did the rest and like that's where my life went for the next eight years after that damn doing show performing I mean Man, it, yeah, every, it's a whole night yeah 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 yeah, yeah we did it and like we, we yeah. had some I like the first album was more like the songs I was sitting on for a long time I mean it broke up my band too because like my band was like why are you writing all this great music with like so and so we're not involved you know and I'm like Hey, I Mike can't. Shinoda problems. Hey, for oh, no. <laughs> no, okay, not those problems. No, yeah, <laughs> sorry, but Stop but it. but but the problem was that hey, my wings. Hey, I, I need to I need to spread my wings. Spread them mm-hmm. and spread eagle. And they weren't spreading with the band. They were they were keeping me down. But then imagine being a producer. I have a question about that. That 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 gives you straight fucking energy vibe gas and just like let you like dude. I've learned like Ace. Hey, some of the songs we wrote, I literally played one note on the keys. <laughs> no, I'm still no, guys. But you, I feel like really I, I feel like, like you, I literally were like that, and then Ace wrote around that, and we made songs. You know, here's the thing with I feel like you, like you said the producer or director. It's like almost like a, a director. I yeah, feel like yeah. when you have a band, you 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 have to have a director, a producer, somebody that's because that's these guys. Like what are, you're about to say? Yeah, these Someone. guys are so they're so talented in their own way. They know their 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 song, their 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 instruments. Yeah. And if you ask each in one individually, <clears throat> they're gonna give you forty versions of a, of a guitar lick, which you only need one. And so somebody has to go and say, you know, it's just simple. Or yeah, we'll do a little bit more right here. Somebody has to say that because yeah. at the end of the day. When you were just talking about the money thing, like you, you know, you're tra- you're, you're paying hourly or whatever it's the time, case may your be. Your time too. It's yeah, it's everybody's time and yeah. it's everybody's money, and so that's when you come across issues. I mean, you were telling me the story about last week where it was like there was some personality issues with a whole band, and oh you have to God. deal with all the personalities. Oh, and wow. you know, and yeah. it comes up in the studio when they're under pressure. Yeah. So imagine the saying. pressure that you thought you felt. And now imagine, oh man, being a team, being <laughs> part of it. <laughs> that shit was tough. Like times five. Yeah, five yeah, yeah. Different yeah. people. Yeah. Being part tough. of a team is hard. It, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a complex yeah. thing to deal with. But also, I agree that it just seems to me with groups that it, somebody has to be saying like, let's. Someone has to be the director. Yeah. yeah. Because if if there's one person that everyone else is on, that we can all say, okay, we're going with that judgment right now, and yeah. we can evaluate that person's judgment later, and maybe reelect someone to be the direction giver. But like, we need to be on someone because it's just too hard when everyone, like you said, especially if they're talented. Yeah. Like everybody just kind of wants to. They have their whole bag they could go through. It's nice for someone to just be like presenting instruction or, or um, direction is the thing. Yeah. 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 Imagine. I mean, even even football teams. Like, imagine. I mean, there's so much talent with with the, with the teams or basketball. Mm. Whatever. Basketball's sports. where I notice it a lot. Yeah, because... and imagine if everybody was doing their own thing. I mean, it would just exactly. Would... Everyone was playing pickup out there. Yeah, having a coach. Hey, right? hey, <laughs> does it feel, hey, does it feel like an all-star team though? Right here, right now, yeah. dude. This is a powerhouse. Like We're a powerhouse. Power. We can take over the city. Take power over the up, brothers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we honestly, I. I, well, I don't know why we haven't blown up yet. If I'm just being honest with everybody, <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm yeah. being real. Trust the process. I've trusted the process. And guess what? Joel Embiid. Med- meditation. Our, uh, I love meditation. Uh, what is it? 
What? Manif- manifestation. 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 Hey, but Speaking like, into like, like, since Ace is talking uh, real quick, like, can like, I have one question. Can you describe like, uh, like, because uh, we want to know where you started. What made Ace yeah, One? Ace, Ace One. <laughs> Why is your name Ace One? I mean, yeah. other than being great, great, great for like, Google. No, but like, How much time do we have? <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 wait, can we get a, a, a background story of just like yeah. what got you to yeah. to your greatness? <laughs> Please. <laughs> well, I uh, well, I appreciate that. That's that's a, that's a big big shoes to fill there. You know, yeah, the greatness. But you. we love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I love. Yeah, bro, you're awesome. I started. I I started actually. Uh, my mom was a teacher in San Marcos. Uh, okay. And so she she wanted I have uh, it was me and my middle brother at the time it was only the two of us and um, my mom played piano and my dad played guitar and so I came from a music background oh, uh, and so they were always yeah they were, and she was a teacher mm. my mom was a teacher wow. so she really like wanted practice me to get t- yeah practice so I'm like I she started. Uh, she started me at like three years old. I, I mean, With she has piano, a piano though. That's you, what you have to do. Prodigy. I guess so. But Prodigy. it was one no, finger. It was like Greatness. I was playing hot, hot cross buns. One Dude, finger. Yeah. I've heard that my because my, my dad I'm my fucking just, I'm a fucking recorder, bro. My, <laughs> my dad said if you're trying to start learning piano by like age ten, you're too late. Even at age really? ten, if you want to be nasty, if you, if you want to be great, yeah. truly great at being the piano, you have to start at like four or five so, years so, old, or it's not going to happen for you. That's interesting. I I didn't know. I I, so I don't you know. Were, you were three. I was three. Yeah, and then you could be Mozart. I, <laughs> you could be Mozart. Right you're now. in line with that shit. <laughs> yeah, and then after that, I I I got older, and and uh, I got um, there was a contest when I was in fifth grade. It was a it was a a drug free contest for 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 the first. It was for the district, and then. Uh, yeah, at first it was a contest for the district, like to see you know we, everybody can submit. I think that was around the time of like La Bamba, like you know the La, La Bamba when we came out. Hey. So my dad, hey, I'm old too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We just, we, I just showed my age. You're right talking there. about the song La Bamba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, the movie, the movie La Bamba. What's that? Just, what is that? The movie. Oh, what is All that? Right, you better edit that out if you haven't hey, seen La Bamba. Cut. Dude. I, That's think, right. I, I think it's important. To, you haven't seen La Bamba. Weird out here. No, I, I want to bring light to the culture. Hey, before you name your first child. Watch La Bamba because you might name your daughter Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see it. You gotta. It's 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 a classic. It's a classic. yeah. It, it really is. is. La Bamba. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, but yeah. anyway, anyway. So Her. so yeah. My dad. My dad do the song. So we, we played the song and I did a, a drug free song. And we we in, entered it oh, in a nice. contest. It yeah. was hot at the time. And, and, yeah, it was, a song? And, and yeah. We. I just. It was a drug free song, but it was to the to the, song, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the La Bamba song. Right, and so, like, so you're, it you're one rapping about right? not yeah yeah doing wrote, drugs uh, right, yeah about oh. you know do you remember any of the bars <laughs> I had no clue. yeah you did oh, it was, it have any footage of that I I mean probably somewhere, somewhere Man, but exactly. I don't dude, let's, <laughs> hey dude you know let's <laughs> sample that let's sample it and let's get rich <laughs> oh no don't say you that. should sample dude you should don't sample that and take any ideas I'm halfway there let's take. Let's don't do it as we did. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. No, but yeah, no, so that, that's tight. That's tight. And then after that, um, yeah, I just so after that, I won first place in district and second place Damn. in the in the state of Texas. Come on, and so, so you always had the sauce. So, yeah, so after that, I was sauce. I was in parents, sixth grade. Your parents gave you the sauce. Yeah, they definitely. Yeah, they they you're, were you're they were born into the sauce. You were they marinated. Were music, yeah, right. I feel very lucky, man. The the whole my whole journey has I feel Dude, like I'm with been, you. Taylor has been very yeah very 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 yeah. fortunate. You know, specific to you. Yeah. And so then, um, after that, I started performing as as an artist, uh, doing drug free. So because it won first place in in the district, second place in the state, they, the, my mom was a teacher, so she was like, you know what, let's let's perform at the school that I, that I teach at, and just do a couple more songs, and you know we, we can do an A A and B luncheon. After that, I started doing more and more and more. I think it was I, I, to where the point where I was in high school already, still doing it, and. Um, yeah, and so then I was at, when I graduated. I think when I graduated, I started my own. Uh, it was called Latin Swing. It was a group, and I Latin and I was swing. singing. Yeah, I was swing, swinging. Yo, swinging. Wait, that was on. the name yeah. of the group. And I had, right there, I, had, I had a guitar. Oh. I had a key- Latin Latin guitar. <laughs> That's with fire. Guitar. Yeah, his face. Ace, I should have brought my guitar. You, you that would have been great. Dude, That's you good. had yeah, that like like just to interrupt. Like you yeah. had the sauce. Already then, uh, yeah. Latin sweet, <laughs> Latin that is sweet. the name. Uh, District yeah. champ, cuh. That's it. All I know is dubs, <laughs> dude. And so I, so I was an. I always wanted to be an artist. That was mm-hmm. my dream. You know what I mean? As I got older, that's so, that's awesome. Yeah, I wanted to be an artist, and so we started doing shows. I had a management in, in Austin. We started doing shows regionally. It wasn't anything, you know, but we were trying to get out there and. 
as we were doing shows, there were we were performing with other artists, and the other artists started asking who was doing the music. And I was doing all the music for the group, you know. So my manager was like, "Oh, these guys want to do want you to do some music, you know, uh, th- their music for them, like you're doing it for for y'all." So it kind of went into evolved like that. I started doing music for I remember one one group, the Plowboys, I think they were called, and then it was another, and then it was another, and it was another, and I just kept doing tracks for the other artists to where it started to feel like. When you say uh, regular, like a job for me, and I when was you like, say doing tracks, what do you mean? Like doing their songs. So like they they liked our songs, the, how we were performing and what we were doing. That mm. they started inquiring for me to do their their music. So they you mean would like writing in. their music for them? No, no, like producing their music. For oh them. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Produ- yeah. So, so yeah, I'll, writing. So the yeah. Sound. Where, where did the point come to where you were able to write all like write all that? Like like where did that mu- like I, I want to know where that music gap came where you picked up the keyboard and you were just like. You know, like um, was that just all through that time? I think it, yeah, it was through that. It was through that time. Uh, I'm trying to remember because it like, was, like what then, inspired you to? I mean, was it just your parents? No. Or? Oh, to do the the, the original music? Well, yeah. How did you learn all that? I just I think as I got older, well, I wanted to be a guitar player. Okay. I was gonna say that early. I felt like the uh, all, all the cool okay. guys were guitar players. Yeah, I was like, I wanted <laughs> yeah. to be the cool guy. You know. Yeah. And my were you dad taking was, lessons. During I, this uh, time? Yeah, my dad would kind of show me here and there, and then I did okay. start taking lessons when I was still living at home. And then, uh, but my dad was like knew about computers. He was he was a he was in a, a, an accountant um, for a hospital, and he was like, you know, uh, if you get into keyboards, you're going to be able to play every instrument, not just guitar, but everything. Yeah, he was. Fire. Yeah, so that was that was a big. I mean, thing. that's what you do, right? Yeah, yeah. Like and that's right yeah, that's big. And and that's when and so Those I was two. Those are the two instruments that are like. The most like universally spread. Yeah, yeah. I What's I that? feel like I piano, always tell guitar? people piano piano I is think so. is right. a roadmap to music. If you look at a piano, it, yeah. it's literally it, any instrument, any, that's anything. What, that's, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah, like yeah. it's a roadmap to to every instrument in the world. That's uh, it. From your from singing to any instrument you can think of. Notes and keys. If you understand yeah. it. You yeah. can see it in black and white, literally. You yeah. Know yeah. What I mean? <laughs> it's always. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> you can't stop. Jumping bars. Sorry. Yeah. It's undeniable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got you got to be inspired with with the. No, it's incredible. Got, you got me inspired with that story. Mm. Oh, really? Jeez, <laughs> man. Yeah. It's so amazing. After that, I just I I was doing the so I was doing production for these artists and and we stopped performing. Latin Swing stopped performing, and I was I had moved to San Marcos, got a little little place in San Marcos, yeah. and I was just doing tracks for these guys that we were performing with. Yeah. And um, then I got a, a friend of mine in, here in San Antonio uh, was like, "Hey, I want you to meet this guy. Uh, he's he's named Steve Chavez. He, before ninety eight point five here in San Antonio, there was another station, a hip hop station called one hundred two point seven. They played dance, and uh, uh, you, I'm sure you remember that. that. You remember Steve? Yeah, uh, dance and hip hop. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that's like. I've yeah. never Check lived somewhere for back ten back twenty years. Yeah. I don't even think that. I don't even. That might have been before. What are you talking about? One hundred two point seven. I just don't know what that's like culturally because a lot of people will be like, like you radio re- station, just anything. Because we, I'm, dude, what? my radio station I remember is like Kiss FM in Austin. But we move so much that there's a lot of shit that people are like, dude, you remember when this was a thing? And I'm just like, I never will. I never will remember mm. that thing. You know what I'm but saying? But granted, I feel like radio was, it was different back then. Like, I think, I, I don't think it was people more listened. promising. Yeah, it was more, pro- yeah. that was the way, that was your outlet. Was radio the was yeah. the yeah. outlet. Yeah. Yeah. No there was no, yeah, no there was internet. no, yeah, there yeah. was no, like, like I like no the Spotify. way it is now. Yeah, there was no yeah. Spotify. No there was streaming. No stream, mm-hmm. none oh, of man. that. And And I feel like, it's it's awesome the way things are now for the artists because now you have because in radio there's a lot of politics without mm. going into too much detail but yeah. uh but in but now it's like you can I mean look at you guys I mean mm. you know shout out to you guys like you guys are doing this on and you, you do the podcast and you can you you the world is your platform you yeah. you know you don't have there's it's no politics. insane that there's a lane for that there's yeah thank God yeah thank God. Th- that's thank what I said God. because yeah. when I was a kid that was that there was a limiter on like. You can't do that because there's not an outlet for it. No one's going to listen to it. But guess what? Back then, we could sell CDs. And that was the glory days. That was the glory days. Though. <laughs> what? Yeah. So, yeah, that was the glory. Yo. days. What do you mean? Why? That's not terrible. What's a CD? I would sell. I would sell my personal. Come back this. Yeah, I would sell like ten CDs a day, and that's hundred bucks. CDs? To who? Yeah, to who? At the Everybody. Mall? I oh, that, that's how the artists would do it. Okay, they would make their bread. They yeah, would make, just to their like, homies. Yo, in yeah. the, C- so people in the your CD circle. days, in the CD days, that was when the artist was making the money. You could sell your own CDs. 
Man. I agree that. No, but I people that streaming you, makes more like CDs would, make more money than streams. Mm, definitely. For sure. For yeah, sure. But yeah, it, it, yeah, for sure. Having to sell. I mean, I've heard a bunch of stories about people selling CDs at the mall, selling CDs at the know, trunk. At yeah. the trunk, you know, yeah, so yeah. making money like yeah. that. Sounds like a personal hell. It's Dude. not what you think. It's, <laughs> it's not what you think. Yeah, not at all. You're not that guy. You're not that guy on the Vegas Strip, like. Like real desperate. <laughs> I might look at it. My wife was no. the biggest. Please God, listen to me. You. I don't suck. Like, so, so like, like best, Matt, bro. Matt, like, like, think about it like this. How many people do you know? I want to eat tonight. How many people you do you know? Do I know? And those are the I'm people sure, that you're selling. I'm acquainted. Th- those are the people that we would sell CDs to first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. And I get guess it. what? Like, like, yeah, oh, man. It, it, they, they would sell like hotcakes, like, but like you had to be a hustler though too. Okay. But and like I worked at H E B, so like I was selling to the clients, huh? like uh, to the customers. I of mean, course. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, yo, hey, you heard my CD, like you know this and that. Like, yeah. go ahead. Ace. No, I was just gonna say, like, even to that point, like I I remember that a lot of the artists would talk about how the the their the the people even people that they didn't they had never heard of them just by seeing them and seeing that th- this is their product. Oh. And they put two and two together. Well, yeah. oh, I'm gonna get this. Like it's something yeah. tangible that they this can is... hold on to, and it, you know, yeah. that's a signature. And mm-hmm. they people still mi- want that. Mm-hmm. That's they why. Still want that's that, why. Actually. That's why yeah. T-shirts are yeah. the other move now. Mm-hmm. I meet people like... all the time that they're like, in this moment, right now, I would support you if there was a way, if there was an avenue for me to bet to like uh, donate to your business right here, right now, I would do it. But and I'm like, no, like you're good, thank you. Like you can follow us on Instagram or whatever. But if I had a CD, I know it's a sale. You know what I'm saying? It's not even because yeah. it's just because that moment meant. Some people want them, the hard you know copy. Yeah. yeah, people want something to believe in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People want to see somebody you know, pursuing hey, you know their dreams. I could you, know? See, you know what I really could see? Some passion of vinyls. Hell yeah, right? MJ, the branding is MJ insane. MJ 38, yeah. Passion Vinyls. Hey, yo, vinyls for hey sure. guess what? You're selling that Ooh, for that your shit. pop. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, you somebody. want this? <laughs> you're selling that for your pop. For your you know pop. Easy. I'm in there. Like, I, give, I, give, give it I give it six months. Yeah, we're cool. gonna be asking for y'all's autograph. Fuck no, dude. I'll, oh, I'll be in your that. studio still. Let's go. You're not gonna need that. Hey, Amen. Yeah, I ain't getting too big for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I ain't baby. never getting too big for y'all, man. <laughs> hey, either that. I do that. agree with what you're saying. I do. I either do that, agree or we're gonna sentiment. see him court. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're gonna see him on it. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. You know, in that shit, bro. I had a bad joke. Thank that was, you, bro. That was a, like you said, we were joking. So that's it. What happened? pushing the envelope? Pushing no, the envelope. Oh, uh, I said uh, uh, either we'll, uh, we'll be asking for your CD or uh, we'll be seeing y'all in court. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. I'll see y'all in court. I hope we can still yeah. see y'all record. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, dude, yeah. I have a record. life goal of like hiring you guys full time. I, I have a fire. goal of being like, yeah, we're going to Seattle. Yo, Can you please fire. come with us? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's bro. the kind of shit I I like to get used to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? dude, so like, right. like where people block you out for like a couple months or something. You know? yeah. Like what I was telling you earlier. Yeah. yeah, one of the big things I really want to do, and you know, it's it's a dream of mine, but I want to get an Airbnb. Like they always say, you always see it on Instagram. This is your sign to get an Airbnb with four of your friends for a week and make an album. Mm. But dude, I've just heard, you know, um, Bryson Tiller's hit album. What's it called? Uh, Tella. Yeah, I, I can name the songs off of it. Uh, Exchange, oh, it's coming Rambo, right there. It's on the tip of my tongue. Sorry, not sorry. Um, Bryson Tiller's greatest piece of work. Uh, anyways, it was like a hey, it's a timestamp, it's a classic, like yeah. it's an anthem. That that trap soul, uh, trap soul, yeah. Is that what it's called? Uh huh. And then I saw the story oh, about how he was just like at a point in his career where he's like, I gotta, I gotta go. It's time to go. Like I need to make an album. It's gotta happen for me. And he rented out an Airbnb for a week and then brought producers in. He and he made Trap Soul in a week. Oh and wow! I, I think there's something too like the way an album has to be thematic and motif, motifical, or that's not a word, but motif heavy. If you're in one state of mind for a week with the same people, cr- cultivating this vibe and being like, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. You can make something that does have that distinguished branding and marketability as its own project that stands yeah. out with its own flavor you know that's something to think about mm-hmm. dude I, I mm-hmm. you know next time I'd i get love to right start, start booking love like that to. hey you know what uh you want to book me you got to book me a week uh in the bahamas you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah fuck at yeah. airbnb <laughs> right i'll bring, hey, a, I'll bring oh. all my gear uh, the wheels are turning hey, yeah, hey, the, hey, hey guess what hey, gear, hey you want you want that next big hit uh, yeah yeah, yeah, Bahamas, Bahamas, dude. Because yeah, you know, they go to Spain or something, bro. Yeah, roll with the oh, fucking man. bulls. I could, I could get really inspired. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. As yeah. long as they got Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. That's, really that's, a plat- that's a platinum package, dude. Yeah, I'm not yeah, even kidding. Yeah, like this that. is literally yeah. my dream. So hopefully we go on the run, right? The first album pops. We're doing great. We spend touring for like nine months, and then summer we take the week off again. Go to Madrid. Then the next one we go to Italy. Then the next one we go to blah blah blah. We just make an album in every country, bro. Mm. That's it. We just gotta pop, and then we're fucking hooping, you know? Yeah, yeah. 
That would be fucking amazing. That would be crazy. That's how I've integrated my desire to travel with my desire to have a career is to do it like that, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like maybe even think smaller. Like maybe think like Canyon Lake. That's how it starts. We start in Canyon Lake. You know? That's how it starts. Like a Canyon Lake little cabin in there. And you're in we the woods. We go to Boss's Manor. Where sure. could you get – like, you know, I, I see sense of that because like where can you get distracted? You know, like That's if you're in point. the woods, locked, you know, like, yeah. hey, but like, mm-hmm. like, I think the only way that would work if like, if you had all the uh, supplies on you, you know, like, yeah. so nobody had to leave or oh, you know, no reason to leave. You can't leave. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? But, but. Here's the I only mean, key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a, I, I hate to sound like that, but I guess that's the way I sound, but like, <laughs> I, you know, that, that, that was, was just, I mean, I think the desired effect would be when we're eating. No, yeah, I feel you. I when feel we're you. eating yeah. meals together 100%. and we're having drinking wine after dinner and we're really like bonding and connecting. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think then when I think it'd be cool to have like a we're recording at twelve at, at noon tomorrow. Whatever you want to do tomorrow morning, we're gonna go work out. If you guys want to come with us, that's cool. But at noon, we're gonna lock in and we're gonna record for like three hours. And then, but having that wine at dinner the night before and having that conversation and we're all just in that similar headspace, I think that's part of the magic that can happen in yeah, that I scenario. Can, I can totally see that. That, right. that makes a lot of sense yeah if you just designate some some time like that spending yeah. the you know the, the energies with the same people you know what i mean just right and we get on not every session but sometimes we get on a roll where we're just like we're good that mm-hmm. we just finished yeah. that shit let's keep going like i'm i'm hot right now let's just keep it hooping maybe yeah. you knock out three songs yeah and when you think about an album there's moments where like you know you get an interlude and then those three songs back to back are like out of, i can think of because the internet by childish gambino the run where he goes on fly to the navigator and the songs around that song I remember hearing that album just being just fucking demolished in my, emotionally because it was so artistic wow. yeah and so i think that there's because an album would you agree or disagree that an album's like um a, a different kind of medium than like singles eps three tracks like it almost has to have like a theme to it is what i'm trying to point at there's got to be something that it's trying to say throughout the whole album otherwise it doesn't quite work i don't think yeah, yeah. I, I think that comes after the fact. I think that 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 you just set out to do songs, and then and and then the theme will come as you're doing. In in my experience, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. I don't think to, to to set out and do the in the beginning like, hey, we're gonna this is gonna be the theme of it. I, I think that's the wrong approach, only because you never know creatively what you're gonna be inspired. By. Yeah, be inspired by or, or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. So I almost feel like that's why a, a lot of a lot of people record like. I mean, a bunch of songs, and then they'll start deciding. Okay, this is gonna be. This is like a love album, or this is like you know, this is this yeah. is a, a, I'm on it album, or whatever. Like yeah. you know what I mean? So it's, it's so almost like saying. it's yeah. almost like the theme writes itself for yeah. the album. That's if you're just put yeah, if you're trying to, to cap, like genuinely capture like true artistic yeah. mm-hmm. expression in the moment, and mm-hmm. it's like make do that a whole bunch of times, mm-hmm. and then after you've done that twenty times, yeah. you take the ten best or the twelve best, and you're yeah. able to see which where you want to go with it. Yeah, I think yeah. ideally that's that's how. Cause these guys, man, they they record a lot of songs with the with the majors. I mean, a lot of songs. Really? Yeah. How many? So I mean, I, yeah. a month. How many a month? What does it look like? You're sitting down. They're going in every day like a job. They're clocking in to the studio. Um, not necessarily clocking in like. Well, actually, I know some that that do. But uh, for the most part, most of them don't. I mean, it's the music life, you know. So yeah, yeah. So you but, pull up. You know what I mean? So everybody kind of comes. But um, yeah, I, I don't even know. I, I couldn't even tell you like in in a in a month's time. Like I just feel like, I mean, I've seen like at least fifty songs, forty 50? to fifty songs for an album. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh just, my gosh. Yeah. To record, I've seen record, record seventy. Record. Oh, yeah. No, I'm I'm seeing that. so many. Yeah. So I mean, many. that's cool. But and so, you dwindle it down to twelve. Well, you it have gets, to dwindle it down to twelve. One thing, <laughs> like no lie, it gets a little. It can, like you, you can probably agree with this, Ace. Like sometimes the clients get a little too. Um, uh, focus on the maybe stuck the wrong on thing. something, yeah. It's where they keep writing, like to where where they think they got to outdo the next album, mm-hmm. and you know, like it's like, hey, you know, a lot of these songs, you know, we might be spinning our wheels. Like you ever felt? Yeah. Like, oh you know? man, I've always I've always <laughs> said that. I've always Brother. said that's the worst because and and I I, I feel like what happens, especially yes. with the major label uh, situations, yeah, is that Thanks, once a song works, the 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 suits of the of the label are like. We need another one like that. And so it gets in the, the okay. I almost, really I hate gets, it because yeah. every time I see the artist struggling because they're in their mind, 
they're they're like I, okay it, uh, this is not good enough it's not, and and then start they start second have you ever heard the, have you ever seen the the study where they said if you have a multiple choice question yeah, right like remember we I think we've talked your about gut that is your gut right your answer. first answer is usually the right one when an artist starts questioning and doing over stuff that's never good Man. and I hate to say it not all the time but I've so there's been several times with where majors have it and it they're not intentionally doing it they want they're looking at the business side but the yeah, artist. Yeah. You almost got to remember, like I've even had the conversation with the artist, like, bro, re- remember how you got here? Yeah, like to me, you know what I mean? Like, is the, lost, yeah, it, it, because they're mm-hmm. trying to live that fucking same the pressure of that one track. But the guess pressure. what? They recorded it like living the, like Freely. like how like life like life surfing naturally. Yeah. yeah, that's naturally. the thing is naturally you can't. Naturally. It's got to. Have you ever heard the um, the? It's in physics where they say an observed object acts differently than an unobserved object. Like if you are, have a microphone or not a microphone, but a fucking microscope, microscope and uh-huh. you're looking at light particles, yeah. then like when you look at the light particle, it, you're observing it, it travels it differently as a wave than if you were to just leave a camera on it running and not be like observing it. It travels literally differently. Uh, and so, oh, wow. I, That's so weird. My, mm-hmm. Me and other people that I know, not just me, but like smart people, like they use that. <laughs> I'm smart. All you smart guys. <laughs> not me, not me. I'm saying the other smart people, like people right, that right. I would actually trust. Right. They say that that's evidence to suggest that, like, for instance, when you're making something naturally versus if there's a bunch of constraints on you and someone's watching you, the, the product is literally going to be different. Wow. Yeah, I like, love that. That's, that's just science, vibe. dog. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's, that's yeah. yeah. Pos- positive vibes. And yeah. Like, like mm-hmm. you know, I, I've seen it before where an artist can almost crumble in the in the booth. Or, you know, like they just give up, you know, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, but sometimes when they, if they can get over that, that's when the best part happens. You yeah. Know yeah. I mean? Like you got to get over that hump, I guess it's called or something. Yeah. Right? You know, yeah. I'm, I'm a big believer in the vibes too, in the studio. Like I, I've had some sessions where I, I think sometimes when you have a, a big, as, as you start doing well as artists, you know, that your posse gets a little bit bigger. Right. So the posse starts coming later on. Mm. They start, everybody starts. And, and then the posse tight. wants to kind of be like, say that one thing so that they can, it's almost like, oh, yeah, I, I, I've contributed they there. They have their opinion. And they have their oh. opinion. And it's just like, oh. <laughs> they need to validate their <laughs> reason for being there. No, here we go again. <laughs> like, bro, no, bro. Like, Yo, yeah, every group like that's more than four guys <laughs> has that one guy that feel, like that doesn't really do that much. But guess what? He has the most opinion. And that's exactly what he's talking yeah. about. And, when I'm, and, it's, and so when I'm... So like for me, like it, it was uh, like about a month ago, there was a, a group I was, and uh, and uh, we we were working, and I, I don't know, it was just a vibe. Like it, it was just that one guy that was like, well, I don't know, I think maybe, uh, and oh, that just threw me off. I was like, wait, wait, what was I gonna do? I completely forgot what I was gonna do yeah, right now. Yeah. But you say that, but, you know, what I mean? <laughs> you know, every band needs like every band for some reason needs that guy for some reason. Uh, but like that's that. the worst for our position yeah. because. Right. We're we're so dialed in, locked in, right. and then like we we know the next move, and that person's saying, "Well, I don't know. I'm kind of sick." And it's like, dude, why do you have why an opinion? Do, because <laughs> you need, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so tough. Yeah, it, it's 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 tough. Uh, the that's vibe tough, has to be yeah, vibe has to be right in the studio. Yeah, I feel like that's so tough. Yeah, yeah. that's that's the the that, that's the, the yeah. topic of that Pos- positivity. Yeah, because for sure. Yeah, no lie. And like I told Ace this before too, all right? Because like you know, when you when when you're an artist, uh, and I uh, I I might someday be an artist again. You, know? you are an artist, yes. all right? You, you know are an artist. Yes. Hey, no, people bring that to me, but like w- when you work with Ace One for for that many years, like like I'm just gonna say some insight. Like you get spoiled. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh really? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> dude. Like dude, no lie. Like uh, before I before I worked with you, I looked up an ad on. Uh, uh, to uh, like uh, for a recording studio, I was literally in a chicken coop. A chicken coop? I'm talking. No, this is the worst of the worst, guys. Like, like you can show up and have bad studio experiences, but when you show up to a guy's backyard, and like, like he lives in a trailer home, and but like his like studio is outside, and like there's chickens all around you. Oh no. Ooh. Like I've that li- hey really dampens the I've, sound. I've yeah. literally <laughs> go. Well, look, look, look. I've, I've literally dealt dealt. I've literally dealt with that bad of a situation. Yeah. Wow. You know, and like I think that helps my enge- uh, engineering and my producing now too, is because I've been with the assholes, and then like guess what? I've been in the great studios too before. You know, 
Hey, yeah. back in the day, 70, 75 bucks an hour was expensive. <laughs> yeah. That was like a fuck ton to pay. It was a premium yeah. price. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. But like, guess what? Like, you're dealing with like straight, stone cold, no expressions. They don't care about your music. Wow. Vi- environments, mm. you know? And, and like, we've still sh- like struggled through that, you know? Like, like, you know, like, I've like had 10 sessions with somebody where they're stone cold like that, but like that was your option, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, so, so the vibe is everything in the studio, man. Like, yeah, facts. yeah like, the environment. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. if, if y'all walked in and we were just stone cold, right? Ace would be like, or like, you know, like imagine Ace because he got yeah. the, re- you know, Ace you got should, the. I'll re- probably still work with him. Hey, hey, Ace would be like, <laughs> you still work with him? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're crazy. You're so talented. Yeah. Keep quiet over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm trying to rap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, like I've been, I've been, I've been through all the situations as an artist, so I think that's what helped my, uh, like experience yeah. of, of like dealing with clients. I would you know? definitely agree with that. Yeah, yeah. because you had to, you had, you saw both sides. You saw yeah. the. The, yeah. From the artist side, and then going into the the, yeah. and, the production and, side. Hey, and let me let me just say one last thing that Ace taught me. That's most crucial. Yo, if Under you're waiting, if you're yeah. waiting for the engineer to figure it out on a beat or a note, dude, you're wasting your time. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. at us as producers and engineer, that's what he taught me. Yo, you got to be fast on it because guess what? The time is valuable. The clock it's is ticking. Time. It's y'all's ticking. time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, figure that shit out on your own. Sure like, you know, or like, like you got to know your sounds already to to begin with, and all that. You know, like, yeah. So that's it, there's, bro. There's a lot. There's a lot. I guess Stay behind ready. the scenes, right? It's uh, crazy. Yeah. I wonder how people well, would feel like with it if they would see it in a session. What was the craziest time we probably ever had, man? In the studio? Not just period. Okay, okay. crazy <laughs> craziest time period. <laughs> I'm going to mention one. Or studio. Is where we, we had full access to the uh, American Warrior Ninja being shot downtown. Oh. American yeah. Ninja yeah. Warrior. <laughs> yeah. Dude. That was the first time they had come to San Antonio. Yeah, they came to San yeah. Antonio. Me and Ace had full access to all that, right? And uh, we were the only ones wasted. Because uh, everyone else is like like health buffs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone else is you guys. Yo, they're, no, they're, just like, <laughs> they're there to compete. They're like about to <laughs> like, yeah, well, you know? Like, yeah. like, literally, they were filming me and Ace are like walking through the little like tunnels. Like we're like picking up gates, you know, moving around. You're, like, but we're over there critiquing. Man, we could do that. <laughs> we, we could totally do that, bro. <laughs> right. I, I think good times. Like for me, like that's the that's the one craziest uh, time I could say because like we, we were fucking wasted on the <laughs> set. Of American Ninja Warrior, like, That's like right. not I a lot of people can that. say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> been a lot of times, man. It's been a lot of times. Yeah, uh, it's crazy. What about the studio? Yeah, what's like the a, a wild studio session you've had? Um, negative or positive? Yeah, uh, uh, it was. Uh, <laughs> this was crazy. Because no names. I felt like, okay, no names. Okay, no okay. Names. Thank you for telling me that. Yeah, okay. no, you're good. There was there was a. Uh, there was one of the guys from a big, big group that, that I mean, if I was to say, they, they would know. One of the guys was like, he was in the booth, and this was the first time I worked with him. And he was just like, it, there was a bunch of people. There was after, it was after their show here in San Antonio. And um, he just, he started doing this weird, like, being like two personalities. Like, talking to him, like, he would go over, like, he was in the booth. And I was looking at him straight. You could see him? Yeah, yeah. Everybody could see him. And so he was like, oh, no. oh yeah, yeah. You know, I, I don't know. It smells like bean and cheese in here. Yeah, yeah. It does smell like bean and cheese. I agree. I feel the same. And so it was like kind of weird. Whoa. Yeah, to where people were like, we were laughing at first, but then we're like, wait, wait. But he wasn't laughing. He he's, was, like, <sighs> he's not doing a bit right now. No, no. He's oh, not doing We're shit. trying to do a verse, right? And so <laughs> next thing you know, oh, no. he starts hitting laughing. his head like so oh. hard on my glass. Boom. On the boom. On the glass. Boom. Boom, and that's when everybody knew something was wrong, right? Like really, literally you wrong. Talk excited in the I, booth. I <laughs> thought he was gonna go through that freaking booth, bro. Like I was Holy like, shit. what is going on with that? So I got up and I, and I opened the door. I said, bro, are you are are you cool? Are you good? He's like, hold on, hold on. And that was the only thing he told me. He walked. He went on Param. Uh, back then, I had my my studio on Param. But Motion Sonic. I don't know if you remember Ooh. that. On Param Bido, he took out off a- for like a- an hour. That's Sh- San Antonio history. Right <laughs> Motion Sonic. Shout out Motion Sonic. Woo! Yeah, Parent Bottle took off for like an hour and a half. Nobody could find him. Everybody got worried. And so the promoters that were there, they're like, but we have to go look for him. 
and it yeah. took like an hour and a half to find him. Bro, he just bro. went. I don't know what <laughs> was going on, but fuck? yeah, bro, it yeah. was free. It was so weird. Like, I mean, the whole personality thing. I mean, it, there was it was a while he started doing the personality thing, but then when he started like. Hitting his head yeah. on the. Oh, oh, never forget. This dude's never about, forget. No, I'll never forget that one, bro. I'll never forget that uh, one. Yo. The worst, the worst experience I had was all right. So when RTE Studios first uh, popped up, we went social media route. Ace mentioned earlier he never went social media route because it's a good reason. Mm-hmm. The cuckoos come out. Okay, so like like we went the full uh, promote the studio through uh, uh, social media or uh, like Facebook, whatever. It was like, hey, I'm, I'm I'm young, you know. I'm like, okay, I need the money. All right, this guy comes in. I tell him to check the mic. The first thing he does, he does a horrible scream, like but like not like the metal scream I'm used to. This was like a scream for like, yo, my appendix just busted. Oh, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> right. And, uh, well, and, real quick, before we get too deep into the story, we only have, have a little bit of time left. Do you okay. want to? I, I can delete some of the footage on these and make uh, g- extend the time a little bit. Do you want to take a quick little break? Let's take or do you want to end in, in a second? We, it's up to you. Oh, we can take a break. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's my one only. Oh, the best time hey, I, I can go. go I can go to like die. Right I can go to like trust die. Me, trust me, that was my one only horror story. I don't want to relive it. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you got to say that story. Yeah, bro. just pause that for a second. Oh, you want to hear it? No, yeah, can, no. After, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to know because uh, we'll take a quick little break. I'll be right back. It's like let's just explore a whole mood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like a different approach to to naturally making the music. Like we talked about, it's important too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to. I don't say. I don't even. I mean, even to that point, don't, don't even think about a number. Like, just do more than just know that you're gonna do. You're gonna cut do songs. Down. Yeah, you're gonna do songs, mm-hmm. and they're gonna be cut down. But it, 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 it through the process, I feel like you're, you're you're gonna know. Like, oh, this is this is the topic, or this is this is the name of the album, or whatever. It'll, it'll kind of just kind of present itself to you. Yeah. I feel like you know, doing saying. it that way. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think when an artist does a song back to back, it all kind of becomes similar and makes its own. You know, uh, title. They're influenced by what just happened. Yeah, they yeah. keep it consistent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, instead of like putting a title on it, you know what I mean. That's I serious. Think it, I think it naturally takes yeah. its course. Dude, we're back in this bingo though. You were telling us we're about... back in the bingo. Yes. What happened with your with your? Oh, wor- worst client, client ever. Story. Worst client ever. <laughs> worst client ever. Okay, we, we just yeah. finished with yours bashing against the head. <laughs> it's hard to talk. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to have a crazy experience. Still fresh on the mind. <laughs> so, so like I said, uh, it was a it was an internet uh, kind of setup where we were pushing, hey, yo, studio time available, you know, for the public. Of course, yeah, right? Don't ever do that. <laughs> but this anime kid came, right? I tell him check the mic, and uh, like already the beat's weird. Like I had to pull the beat off of like. Uh, M- uh, MPA or whatever that is, you know what I mean? Instead of MP3, like he said, okay. like an actual video, oh, like something, yes. you know. And I had to turn into MP3. Whoa. Anyways, that was weird. But like the first mic check was, I was like, hey, okay, so check the mic. Uh, let me know what's going on. And it was like a, it was like a, a gut grinching. I heard scream like, <laughs> like I mean, bad, bad. And I'm just like, is that where you're gonna keep going? Like with the song, and like he's just like, yeah, yeah, this, that. Uh. Okay. Anyway, anyways, I, I I try to record what's going on. It's like maybe four or five screams that like last though, through like through like a couple of, of times. Uh, uh, Can you describe the scream? Just, just a little more for me. <laughs> like, no. Can you like, do an impression? Like pain. <sighs> like I mean, like like I know a metal scream. A metal scream goes. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, degrees. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The metal yeah. scream sounds Whoa, intentional. Yeah, this he's yeah. sounds he's intentional. bumblebee. This one was <laughs> more like he just let it all out, and like, um, you know, like uh, maybe. Uh, what are we going for? I still want to know. I don't know. Like so, for the listener. So anyway, so like oh. the, the song didn't end up. Uh, <laughs> the, the song didn't end up coming out the way that he he wanted it. Right. Classic and, happens uh, all the time. So next thing you know, he starts uh, tagging me. On, on Facebook, saying this is the guy that didn't get my track right. No. What? Yeah, he slandering you. Yeah, and he was like, uh, "Don't report? work with this guy because like blah 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 this blah 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 that." But I mean, like like to my good you know luck or you know just to his bad luck, you know nobody like everybody knew this guy was a tr- uh, like you know a troll or a weirdo. Um, oh, guess what, guys? No, he he was mental. Okay. 
So the story keeps going. Oh, no. Yeah. The story continues. So, <laughs> so there's an online dispute, like, because obviously this guy's straight fucking mental. Like, he really was. Um, <laughs> and uh, next thing you know, like, I take the bus to the studio one day, right? And, like, I'm, like, walking, because, like, there's a little part where I have to walk to the studio, like, past, like, you know. After the stop? Yeah, well, he's coming back from my studio because he was, like, like raging or like like one of the like he went know. to your studio like looking for you yes oh. and i happened to like come across him like you know like while he's in doing past, like was something. he in a car no he was on Yo, foot. you're walking too on foot Both and, y'all but walk. like he's like doing a rage thing online like live oh shit saying like oh, i'm here this motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> i show up on that and like i'm just like you know like and, and like it, it finally came to a point where it was like yo you gotta get the fuck out of here you know what i'm saying but like uh, but, but wow. bottom line, that that was the worst session I ever. Wow. Had. Y'all cross paths or like we cross like paths. confront, confront yeah. him like on yeah. his live stream. Why, why he was like doing something, like, like making a video. I mean, <laughs> that's talking no, shit. Like, there's no evidence of like a live, but he was definitely doing something like with his phone. Like, like I I come around the corner, you know, my studio corner, mm-hmm. and and he's like, I'm here, and I'm like, I never got my track completely done like kind of bullshit oh, whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, you're yeah. saying yeah yeah, yeah. Finally, you know like mumbo I, jumbo finally I had to... that's common like with with, with other well, studios like that well i just uh, you know that's why i i say don't stay open to the public because any weirdo <laughs> like that yeah you know it's open yeah. Yeah. i see what you're saying like, yeah i see what you're did, saying so do you did y'all did y'all stop doing uh promotions on on online or how did after that or no? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go go ahead and look it up. Go ahead and look first it up. Eh? And last. <laughs> yeah. Facebook ads we never and, did. And like the thing was, like, like I'm I'm leaving a lot of stuff out of the story. Like yeah. like imagine an anime kid, right? Like imagine skinny black uh, sweatshirt. An, 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 uh, anime kid <laughs> white airpods in. Uh, long anime, black hair. Anime kid. I'm with you. He cut his own hair. <laughs> Power Ranger outfit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> mentally, no, but like, like anime kid. Like, I love the animes. Yeah. I love all Dragon the Dragon Ball Z. But like this one was a, a disturbed one. Like it was not a little disturbed, but go on. I love disturbed. I mean, but who screams like and like that was the whole song. And then like I record the song, I realize there's nothing I could do here, so yeah. I just sent what I sent. And you know, like yeah, it turned into a whole. Wow. Off. And then he tried to like scrutinize me online or whatever, yeah. whatever. But like, it was okay because it didn't matter because he had no audience. Uh, yeah, no, ain't nobody yeah. trying to see that. He's just yelling in the wind. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> like, uh, I feel like my story's not that great. Drama. No, it's great. It drama, it's, it's crazy. It's that's like, a great it's story. Like, it's a horror my, story. Uh, my guy was over here. He, he came tell me for a while. Like when I first hey. got there, he was like, "Hey, you know, I think we should advertise online." I'm like. I just never done that. It's like scary, I dude. So hearing that, I feel I'm I feel the difference right now. So I like, send it to you. <laughs> a lot of our clients are word of mouth clients. All of our potential yeah. clients are word of mouth clients. And if we could, to some degree, curate who we're giving our business to, that might make yeah. it a lot better on the lifestyle. You, if you open, yeah. if you open yeah. up to the public, but like I was also like a young en- engineer at the time, so like you're trying to get whatever money you can fucking get. Of you course. feel me? Well, and you got to turn 100%. a profit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then you got to realize, okay, maybe my life's in jeopardy. You know? Yeah, because this <laughs> yeah, guy is gonna like, to you. this guy's like gonna claw my back or something. Right. right. Yeah. But and, I know, I, 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 I know you. I know Ace. I know you have some other bad experiences. Oh, there's Dude. been a few. Yeah, there's been a few. I just, I, I don't. I mean, was there a moment, Nick, where you were gonna like, you were like, yo, I'm about to have to confront this person coming into my studio violently? Well, no, I confronted him. Okay, when I saw him Bless doing a, uh, doing that live or whatever, what he was what doing did you say? in front of my place, like I just finally said, "Dude, you got to get the fuck out of here." And, yeah, you know, I had to get a little. Oh. You know, so yeah, there's a, a moment where you put it. that shit on. Yeah, you were yeah. like, "Hold on, here we go." I mean, I'm big you, ha- you have to in the business. <laughs> big Nick energy. Well, <laughs> Dallas Mac, pussy, Dallas what's up? Mac. Dallas hey, Mac energy. Oh. I like that. I haven't that. met him. Haven't <laughs> met him yet. I like to meet him. I like that. Like that. <laughs> big Nick energy. That's hard. Yeah. I thought it was great when I said it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but no, I like like anyone. And Ace knows too. Sometimes you got to turn it on. Yeah, and you got to let them know you're you know, pop out and show players. Yeah, because hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, all the Facts. fun and games. Hey, it's fun and games until it becomes something that you gotta, you know, deal with. And y- y'all know where my studio is at. And uh, you know, uh, mm. sometimes, uh, sense, sometimes some stragglers come walking up. Mm. I used to produce. You know, like whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the worst. The yeah. Yo, yo, I used to do hey, hey, yo, yo, but my clients be like, "Oh yeah, cool, cool." I'm like, "Yo, get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I, yeah. I, I don't want to sound like a, being a total dick on this one, but like, yo, sometimes you don't want to feed the cats. <laughs> they don't come back with more cats with their yeah. friends. Yeah. They just what? What is? What is it? That they're hungry for attention. Uh, just curiosity, because you know you're you're going boom, boom, boom. Uh, you know, in the neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're booming in the neighborhood. Mm. Banging the 808s. Yeah, you're banging the 808s. So you've, you've got some interesting, mm. and they're in search and, of interesting. And sometimes you get people that come walking up. Hey, it doesn't help. Assistant living's right across the street. Yeah. Yeah, try Got that. you. Try got you. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah, looking yeah. for anything to sparkle hey, up, yeah. what they got hey, going hey, on. Hey, but uh, also, too, you got apartments behind there. One time, somebody yelled at me, shut the hell up. Oh, shit. <laughs> you suck. Oh. <laughs> We hear you. Really? Just, just hating. Sucks. Just fucking hating, bro. Just a hate. Hate is gonna hate. No, no. I can't even hear the music outside the studio. It well, just sounds like boom, boom. Well, like, cause you know, we 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 do the ten in the mornings. You know, like yeah, fuck you, you oh, gotta remember yeah. the 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 late nights when when the artist wants the door open when they're smoking, and the, the you know they want the door open uh, to hear the music. Yeah, um, you know. Uh, right, right, right. And uh, I, uh, I, I I don't blame the, the the person that yelled, "Hey, you suck." Because hey, dude, I'm waking that person up. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Did it suck? Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I might have said that. I might have been like, "This is good." I don't think so. But <laughs> you it, asshole. But like, like finally, like, like it like <laughs> got to the point where like, like you know, like I mean, you got to be respectful too. You know, I, I know that now. Mm-hmm. I know that now. But back in the day, yo, man, hey, we finished recording that shit. I leave the door open with a little, you know, little divider on the door. Mm. Everyone's smoking outside. It's just blaring out of that thing on repeat. I mean, imagine if you lived in that apartment on that corner. You're going to be yelling at that, too. Yeah. You know? Hey, man. Yeah. I'd hate you. Down. I might. I'd, I'd hate <laughs> you. Dude, when the people yeah. come to do the lawn in the morning in my apartment complex, I'm fucking pissed. They do the what? <laughs> the they, maintenance? Yeah, they're oh. just like blowing the leaves off the rocks oh, and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dude, you yeah. come in at 8.30 in the morning, though, and I'm like trying to sleep till like 9.15, 9.30. Right? Just and I'm like, wait You're, till 10. Dude, <laughs> I'm ready to go to bat, dude. I'm ready to pick up Spanish to talk to some of these people. I'm like You're looking hey, some yo. stuff up on Duolingo right there. Hombre. Mi compa, mi compa, aquí, por favor. Like, dog. That's it, I bond you all contigo. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just start going, dude. <laughs> say no, 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 no. Pero no. Pero no. Yeah. No, but no. No. I got too much work to do. <laughs> hey. No, the worst though is it always reminds me of this one time when I was living in college after uh, I had an apartment, but my roommate moved out and I wanted to stay in San Marcus. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to fucking get a job, right? And I'm going to fucking, you know, live on my own or whatever. And, uh, I would there was a jackhammer they were literally doing a fucking jackhammer construction right underneath my apartment like right by the door at 8 a.m. every day bro just asphalt construction yeah it was yeah that shit woke me up every day at 8 a.m. on the dot and I was just like I went to the office and I was all fucking you know crusty eyed I'm like what is wrong with you guys like why why would you schedule 8 a.m. concrete yeah. work outside my apartment you know yeah what I'm yeah yeah and they're like we're an apartment complex what do you want from me I'm like what do you want from me that shit that, that <laughs> shit could like legally start at like 6 a.m. I think. I no, think 8 a.m. might be the earliest there there are definitely hours in place to like keep it from starting at 6 a.m. Yeah. but I think I think it's eight it's okay. probably eight. I remember it was like wow. every day I, yeah, it would happen. I look at the right. clock. And yeah, yeah, right. That's, that's, that's pretty early for a lot of the population. So you live in an apartment? The, that was in San Marcos when I, I went to, we both went to College of Texas State. So right. we rock with San Marcos. Right. But, um, represent, represent. Yeah, that, yeah. It's cool. his mom was teaching over there, right? You said yes. Back yeah. in the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. shit. Uh-huh. San Marcos. What was she teaching? Uh, she was, well, she was elementary. She, uh, she she retired elementary uh, teacher. I so wondered if she was a little bit of everything. Yeah, the people uh, or you know what's crazy? My mom retired at a fucking school district too, but she did the payroll. Oh, she nice. did the payroll. Nice. The way have to deal leave. with the drama. <laughs> I know, but still, that's kind of a yeah, a yeah, weird yeah. That, that, yeah, that's that's an yeah. interesting yeah. connection. Right. My mom always had a story with it. But the, yeah, you were asking me about uh, kids. Yeah, if I live in an apartment yeah, now, and I do, and I fucking love my apartment. I'm like, you know. Getting an apartment by yourself is kind of a scary thing because you're worried about the credit maybe or also the price point and stuff like that. So getting like a one-bedroom apartment for someone that's trying to, you know, not ball, but they want like 
to feel good about it, it costs about thirteen hundred dollars a month. Hell yeah, you want that yeah. swimming pool? You know what I'm saying, dog? Right? <laughs> you want that fucking gym? You access? feel like you live yeah. in a nice place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, come on, this thing because apartments are it, it drops as soon as that rent drops, the fucking amount of luxury or niceness that they're trying to provide falls off the map. It's styrofoam cups and sweet and low with their coffee in the lobby. It's not fucking a Starbucks machine. You know what I'm saying? I think mm. what you're paying for though is security, mm. right? Because that place is probably pretty secure. Yeah, contextually that that's probably what you're paying for you know what i'm saying i never thought about that but but versus living in a bad, bad part of town versus a nice part of town yeah. the price point varies yeah. for sure because mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. i was paying 600 a month downtown <laughs> oh boy what the fuck wow. are you talking about for a one bedroom where y'all met me that first time remember 600, 600 dude 600? that's just not Nothing. on uh what's that website hey, that you can like zillow look at? that's just not on like zillow that's dog. really really yeah, yeah. Parkside apartment killers. <laughs> Until he dies. The killers. Fire. The, you live yeah. there. That, that place With the killers. Was, that place was scary. It's like, so you're With the paying, killers. Not paying for security. Hey, hey, you know, I felt like y'all had a little more respect for me when y'all met me that day. <laughs> you know, like, oh, I shit. thought you were cool. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the other time we met was at Ace's studio. That was the time when we had first gone oh, to visit. Yeah. And you had records all over. You had, like, literal yeah. records on the walls. Oh, that's oh, another yeah, conversation yeah, yeah. to talk about. Dude, that's... and I remember walking in that place. That was my first time there. And that's why I don't really remember meeting you there because I thought you were, like, a regular there. And I was, like, the new guy. So I was just like, oh, hey, 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 everybody. Y'all right. guys, are, y'all guys are, uh, the MJ38 boys are just, uh, they're more recognizable, you know. More no, nah, it was just like, there was too many people for me to take in at I'm one like, time. These we guys' beards up. are on point. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> who are these guys? Check out the, who are these guys? Check out Chris the Barber's episode coming out soon. Oh. Yeah, hey. that's a teaser. But anyways. How about, how about this? Question for Ace. Ace. What about them uh, uh, Academy? Uh, you got some Grammys. Dude, yeah. there was legit records, Man. like let's platinum records. Like, 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 let's can we get the full story on the Grammys? Yeah, I, I mean, the, yeah, the, I, I won, um, uh, I won the nomination Grammy nomination and and the actual Grammy for Intocable, uh, the DS album. Wow. It was a DS album. Come yeah, that's class. I did, I did two. Class. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Damn. I did two, uh, two songs on there. One with Tego Calderon, and then one with uh, 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 DJ Kane. And so the album got. Uh, best Norteño album, wow. and since we, I was part of it, and everybody that was part of it gets it. Yeah, so can I ask a deeper question? Yeah, how did they get involved with you? Like, like how did like like the paths cross? I, I, like, like I, yeah. I can I can guess, guys. Like, like yes. Justin, right? Latin Grammy. Yeah, Latin I Grammy, guarantee yeah. you, they were like <laughs> they heard of a hot producer, and they had to work. Like, how, how did like. You know. Yeah, I, I think at that time I had an, a manager who was managing. Uh, he was managing DJ Kane, Jeez. and uh, or can I say the name? I, I could, yeah, I can say whatever okay. you want. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, uh, yeah. He was managing DJ DJ Kane, and so I think that's how it came about. Uh, I had just started met, uh, working with. He was my manager at that time, but he had already had Kane, so they had asked Kane to do a, a rec one of their records yeah. and so since he was managing me too he says hey uh, wow. let's get ace to do the the production so you always were the go to for the for the writing of a hit for for yeah for the for the beat yeah yeah for making the the production, the, the production. right right for the production yes for the hits yes. come on you got grammys my guy. latin bangers yeah, yeah it was wow. yeah it was it was it was awesome it was a great experience and then <sighs> yeah so i i did that um and then I think when I was there, we we actually went to uh, Harder Harder Keith Studios. That's where we did the Keith Harder. Keith Harder, yeah, Keith Harder that Studio. Guys. Yeah, it's beautiful studio. Man. Beautiful. I recorded there before I recorded with Ace. Oh yeah, wow. you did tell me that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a beautiful studio. And um, so yeah, I I met Intocable all, all the guys, and then um, you know, did the song with Kane, and then after that, Tego Calderon was in was in the studio. He was getting on one of the songs or whatever, and then. I wound up just starting the, the beat there and then finish, you know, got his vocals and then finished Dude, it up. What is the, the pressure level or is there none at that point? Somebody asked me that. And and it's funny because I feel like for me, yeah, for me, I, 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 I when I'm in the studio, it's, that's my element. I feel Man, like that's what I know. That's you know what I mean? Like I know, I really know. Yeah. So comfortable. My yeah. only thing is like how I want to lock in with what you're feeling. So, yeah. uh, the artist, like what are you feeling so I can lock in? And it's not really pressure. It's more like curious, like where are you at? And it, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna catch it. Yeah, See, yeah. I'm gonna catch. Know, that's that confidence. So you know where your fingers are laying. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. great, bro. That's yeah, great. yeah, yeah. So it it was it was a no pressure then. Yeah, it was no more pr- figuring out what 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 they wanted because 
you already knew you were in. Yeah, I rem- I remember like the big thing for me about the engine, the the energy that we were talking about. Like I remember one time I was working, and this was like the aha moment for me. Like I was working with the guy, uh, the Ghetto Boys from back in the day from Houston. Wow. Yeah. Well, that I was, I, he was coming in, he was running late, and they were like, uh, can, you, can you make the beat for, you know, make the beat? And I had no clue what to do. I, I, it was just, I knew the music, but I didn't, I just was sitting there and I was like, I, I don't even know. It was like, like blanking? Yeah, it was nothing. No, but as soon as he came in, I, I didn't get anything. I, don't, I think maybe I got a hi-hat. <laughs> <with> <laughs> nothing, like no melody, nothing. I was just like trying to. And so uh, he came in as soon as I shook his hand. Oh, it was like I. It was like a light bulb came in my head, and I was like, I knew what to do, and I'm it inspired. was. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, and I feel like that's why I say like the energy. I feel like I can latch on. Like I just gotta, I just gotta, you know, Catch see it. them, talk to them. Yeah, whatever engage. the case may be, uh, engage. And it was it that session was so smooth. But before that, when he because he was running late, it was like literally nothing, doing nothing. It just Word. like yeah, that's, that's trippy. Yeah, yeah, that's it's cool. it's it's crazy, right? I, I don't. And, and ever since then, I feel like. Now I just need to to meet them. I need to shake their hand or, or some kind of contact, and I can. I feel, feel like I can. If it is, if it is it right? Like, what about the times you feel that? That's when that's when somebody else is in there, and they're like, the, the, uh, you know, somebody might say something or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, oh, why'd you say but, that? But, but, have, just... but have you ever dealt with that? Where like the inter- like you know you did that shake and like you felt like the energy wasn't right, but you still had to produce a hit. Never. I've never okay. felt like that. Uh, uh, really? Knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. Yeah. I've never felt like... The only time I did feel like that was there was an artist that uh, that came in, but I, he... It's it's interesting. I don't know if you get this, but I feel like artists treat engineers and producers very differently. If if they... Uh, they if can. artists come in and, and, they, and they're they like, oh, this guy's recording you, it, they... But then if they, if they if they know that you did that beat, yeah. and then it's just... A, switch let's like yeah and so this one artist i'm talking about um he came in he treated me like an engineer uh, yeah can we it, drop a name i can't i can't i don't i don't want to hey, do wait, that i don't want to do that pretty big, though? it's big yeah oh yeah, off yeah, the air yeah, off, yeah, off the air yeah off the air yeah 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 and so and uh yeah he treated me like an engineer but <laughs> we did the whole session and he was just like just hey you don't you don't ever stop recording me you don't ever you know this and that you don't ever tell me and i'm like holy shit yeah yeah so finally, at the end of the session, I had done the beat, but no- nothing was said. And then he asked at the end of the session, "Who did the beat? This man right here." A switch. Oh, oh man, you know respect, it, it yeah. was nice working with you. You know, like I would. Whoa. I mean, like it was. It would. Night you day. would think, yeah, you would think that it was scripted or man. something, but yeah, it's Whoa. totally different. Yeah. What? I, yeah. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I feel like. I, I want to guess. Crazy. But like I feel like I feel like I feel like it's yeah, off the air. I feel like it's such a big guess, guys. That man, like, yeah, we're we're in awe. Like, <laughs> this man's got Grammys. I know, man. Yeah, dude, wow. that's insane. And, and I, I will say oh, this: that, um, unfortunately, that artist passed away the next week. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, he passed away. The next week. Yeah, yeah, sure yeah, yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the Texas legend, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, but I'm right. No way. His mind's blown. Unfortunate title. His mind's blown. Yeah. Dude, that's wild. Damn, makes you really recorded them all. You have like a you? like a plaque for that, or like you're like you're you got like a some sort of tangible product for the Grammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't get the, uh, so uh, because it was the album. You you only get a statuette when you do fifty percent of whatever it is. So like okay. if it was a song, right. then you would then you would get the statuette. But uh, they give you uh, um, the little the, the the what do you call it? the certifications of it. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it. You've but, seen them? They, yeah, the plaque. Course. Yeah, yeah. They, they, I had them at the at my other studio when. Yeah. Me, me and Nick Grammy together. plaques. Yeah, so Grammy plaques. Grammy plaque. So like I'm a, saying a Grammy those... statue. Yeah, so the Grammy statue, you like if if it was, like it's it's interesting because the engineer, it was the same engineer for the whole album, uh-huh. so he got a Grammy, uh, and he just he engineered it right, and and uh, I don't want to say just because it's not it's there's a lot of science that goes into it, but oh, that's, that's but true. but I'm saying like it, it was the same guy, if they would have jumped d- different engineers. And he only did like half of it, then he wouldn't have gotten one a a statue. Yeah. So it's or if one of the songs that I did was the song of Conjunto Song of the Year, whatever, then I would have got. But because it was on a project, it was the whole album. I only did two songs, so that's you know less than fifty percent. But yeah, so that's what I got the award for 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 Intocable Diez album. Plaque versus the Grammy. What what does that translate to? That's tight. What's that? What do you mean? Uh, I don't want to butcher it, but Inco Tanta Diez. 
Intocable? Intocable it is. What does that mean? I, I don't even know. I, I don't know. What that, that's, I've just known them. That's that's their name. Hey, Google Inter- Translate. Yeah, yeah. Intocable. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, a song, there's a song that they used to sing, man. Oh, my God, dude. Like, I, I would butcher the words right now, so I'm not going to sing it, but. It was Intocable? Intocable? Oh, yeah. It really? Was like, it was like. I remember that I'm song. To translate murder. Oh, murder, bro. Murder. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm murdering the fire. <laughs> I'm murdering the Spanish. Not in a bad way. Yeah, yeah. Don't no, yeah. butcher the Spanish and murder in the no way. Right now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, you know, like you can no pass lie. on that one, bro. That's tight. Mm. Like, I'm, 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 <laughs> like no like boys, like like I'm really inspired right now, like by Ace. You know, like just like oh, that's like, incredible. Like yes. I, 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 I always this. am, and like you got to know, like like. Man, you you really uh, have have spread a lot of knowledge to to uh, the city of San Antonio, man. That's and, awesome. Uh, I really believe, like by by this time next year, I mean, I see some other Grammys. I mean, wow, you know, I appreciate it, that. Boy, I mean, yes, I'm serious, man. Like, I don't think there's nothing you can't touch. You know, like like you're guiding the way for all of us. You know what I'm saying? So I'm 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 happy. I I, I feel know. I feel. I mean, even just to hear you saying like, yeah. you know, showing love and saying, "Hey, man, you know, you you taught me this. You taught me like." Yeah. I feel like I've been in this game for man. for so long, and you forget certain things. Yeah. And it's like for you to say that because yeah. I see how you're doing, and you're doing awesome, awesome yeah. with with your work on at the studio and and with these guys and and with everybody that you're working with sure. so it's 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 humbling it's humbling yeah. to, to hear that you know what i mean so and, i i really yeah. appreciate it and like that's why that's why we could tell you that because you're a, you're a humble dude you know what i'm saying yeah and, i appreciate uh, it man you know like if, if anyone's Absolutely. listening to this right now you would be lucky if you get in the booth with ace one okay <laughs> hey ace you'd one. be lucky <laughs> for real bro yeah i, I consider that. but like you know what like you know it don't stop there, man. Like you're you're barely on your way, you know. And that that's what inspires me the most, you know, because you know I'm I'm right I'm right there with you, you know. Yeah. And yeah, uh, I appreciate like, no yeah, lie. I mean, sure. come on, guys, we know this. Oh, I know a- it. Ace can, I know. I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it in person. We yeah. were rough when we came to Ace. We were I've rough. seen it. I've seen it. Just we were it. coming out with bangers. Dude. Coming out like, with some and, heat. And guess, hey, We've like, done. It's not just the yeah. session with him. It's also your learning. You get yeah. better, you know? Because there's a disconnect you know? between, like, um, rappers and engineers in the sense where, like, rappers don't know all the technical terms for what you're doing a lot of times. The effects yeah. and all that. It's like, make me yeah. sound purple. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes that's some of the... Di- like, because it's like... You could go off that. I could go I, I could even go off that. You know what I'm saying, though? That's some heavy reverb. With the one, the, I know you've heard this one. I know you've heard, know you've heard this one. Purple? I, I, wanted, <laughs> I, I, I needed to sound more crispy. More crispy. Uh, hey, turn okay, got it. The highs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Crispy. Yo, yeah. yeah, crispy. Yo. Put in an air fryer. Yes. Hey, <laughs> and Ace, you know what that's about? Yeah. Like sometimes, like, 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 uh, like you'll teach the the clients. Yeah. Like same. Oh, like, like let me put them highs up. Right. And next thing you know, they're like, or like, like, like you even say a term like, oh, let me put that compression up. It's right. Like, like after that, they're like. Did you put up that compression? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. It, you, right? it doesn't though. sound that's like right. it doesn't sound like that compression is right. very high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you put some and, compressor uh, on there. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you know this too, because you, uh, you talked about the crispiness, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. So, like a lot of times, clients will see you when you start raising up the 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 mm. the high EQ, but that's not where it's supposed to stay, guys. Yeah. But you're like. <laughs> Like it gets louder, so the client's like, "Yeah, yeah, that's where it's at." But that's it's right. like, "No, I gotta bring that down." That's right. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah, definitely. I've seen you guys like, that's like Ace. Yeah. He, he, one thing I learned from Ace just watching him work is that when he's gonna test the level, he definitely pushes it like all the way, and then you bring it down like slowly, yep. and then as you get to yes. where you want it, it's even slower. And that's sometimes, you, sometimes you go it. past, and then you bring it back up to the top, and then you're like, "I think Man. it's like right there." Oh, Yo. for the mixing, for Yo. the mixing. Yeah, Ace, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the mix, Ace yes. has literally taught yeah. me that. Really, you bring the track down in the mix and just hey, like when you like do your final mix, turn it all down, yeah, and slowly bring it all up where it feels. And then, a a, a really crucial thing that actually so Santone, shout out to Sosa, shout out to Sosa. Sosa. Uh, he taught me, hey, nice. Nick, it's not about the the weird sounds. You know, it's about the boom, boom. It's about what makes your the boom pat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, you so hear you, the boom pat. Yeah, yeah. Because like, <laughs> you know, I come, I come from metal music, rock music. You know, so like, my first tracks that I would write. Guess what, man? They were like fifty-two tracks of music. 
Yeah, that's oh, way wow. too. That's, a lot that's of way track. too yeah, much space. Track. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You know, uh, uh, so Sosa was the one that showed me. Like, oh. hey man, cut all that shit out. We, we want something that's gonna make the hips move. Right, right. So, you, so what you do in your mix is you turn up that. Uh, you know, you turn up the drums first. You know what I mean? Then yeah. get that. Then you get that eight hundred eight up in there. You know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. That's how you make ass. That's yeah. how you. <laughs> hey, hey, you still double? You still dubbing? On a bus? Not very much. Wait, dub, uh, like doubling the verse, the the vocals. Double, or, uh, yeah, a little dub effect on that that bus. Every once in a while, okay. every it, it depends if I'm going right. for that. Yeah, if I'm if I want it a little wider, because that's another thing. Because like I'll turn it all the way up and then turn it down. The clown's like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I liked it where it was at. Ah, and I'm like, nah, you're yes, just, you're just hearing <laughs> it louder. You're hearing it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Crazy. Dub. Yeah, those are the those so, are the yeah, stu- that, behind the scenes. As, as a rapper, you go in there and, and and it's scary because it's like your internal voice and you in the notepad is different than like you projecting the verse right. And then yeah. once you even if you can seamlessly be projecting the verse into your outside voice, it's still like that translating into an MP3 file that you can hear in the car. It's got to go through you guys first. Uh, and then a lot of times, like it, you know, even out of your mouth, it may not sound how you want it to. So yeah. it's like I think that's why people the respect changes. It's like you made the beat yeah. and you're making my voice. You're making the song, dude. Like I'm making yeah. lyrics, but my lyrics wouldn't be shit you know what i'm saying sometimes hey but the beat wouldn't be nothing till y'all jump on it it's crazy i mean i've yeah I've, y'all, y'all, i felt that dude, very true y- y'all jumped on beats before where I-, I was very self-conscious about it the beat yeah and then uh like like a couple times i think when we were working and you're like you're coming in those couple days you know what i mean like the second uh y'all write some oh, dude come on dude don't what's the last one we did uh, and you did that singing thing on yeah, there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I've heard that, Come dude. On. It's a run. He that told me. Yeah, magic, it's a run. Magic. Dude. And like, oh. hey, I, uh, us as uh, uh, songwriters, yo, that could have been like not not the hottest beat for us. But then, mm. you know, y'all the one that bring it to life. Mm. I mean? Red hot. Yeah, so I feel that. I definitely hot. feel that. There it is. Damn, when you did that one little thing on the, you know what I'm talking about? Mm. Oh, yeah. Thing? Yeah, that shit was lit, bro. I love that song. I, I want to hear that. that. Finish that up. I want to hear that. Well, uh, 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 for, for a sec, uh, with the M- MJ38 boys. <laughs> so, like, I, I had a bar set on one beat room. Y'all, y'all, y'all check that out. Oh, y'all, yeah, that's what I meant to hey, say. That song is great. Y- y'all yeah. download that, that shit. Put the link on uh, when, when I'm talking about this. But, dude, it went so hard. I didn't know how to write another beat that hard. So I started getting that complex. Mm. You feel me? Because like, dude, how am I going to top that? Wait, wasn't that the one that I really liked? I was like, Classic. oh, he, that was the one with the bass line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, I told him, I was like, bro, that's my favorite song right there. And, yeah, That one went hard. And, and see, on that one, it, it was all just a, like, like, usually I'm about melody. Mm-hmm. But that mm-hmm. one, like what I've, what, what you figure out, like with just music in general, man. Sometimes it's just that hard eight oh eight with like that, that good, just you know. Yeah, just eats yeah. it up too. Just simple, just, just something simple or yeah. something. Yeah. Like, it doesn't yeah. even be crazy. Yeah. He's yeah. Just something simple and just fucking. Oh, that, that's it. Yeah. yeah. That. Oh, that's hey. it. And yeah. like the, the fact that y'all, y'all guys, y'all might be the only artists that work with Ace, and you know, that y'all get the best of you know. Well, y'all get the best of. Th- that's the best of the world. Yeah, okay? best of all the world. And then, wow. then, you know, and then y'all get a little taste of the, the other side. You know what I'm saying? Dude, we just cook, it's a beautiful bro. Harmony, I mean, bro. We can make a song yeah, in an hour, awesome. which is insane, dude, right? Like, yeah, how that's fa- cool. Yeah, that's it, super dope. Yeah, and when you see these guys uh, motivated, like, forget it, dude. Like, because, like, Justin, guess what? Justin, he, he's the writer. We're coming in. Yeah. He's the one yeah. He's the one coming in. He's going, uh, Matt, I, I, I call you more the, like, uh, the firecracker, the, the wild card. Yeah, okay. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, wild, like, wild card. Because yeah. like that, that first time would be like, locked in, baby. I'm a bum and a bum. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. like, I'm a dapper and die. <laughs> <laughs> you, know yeah. you know what I mean? That's it. You know what I mean? And that's why they, they complement each other so well is because one of them comes in structured ready. Yeah. And then the other one's like a little more like the wild card. Yeah. And like, you know, like yeah. the love. Creating in the booth. Yeah, Matt, it, Matt does that all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I love out. that shit. And like That's the, part of the. In- and you, yeah, you can't mess that up. That's part of the energy, I feel like. You're you're yeah. feeding off the energy in that moment. True. That's you know why I, mean? I connected with yeah. what you were talking about, about yeah. the handshake kind of yeah. telling you where to go. Mm-hmm. Like, that's mm-hmm. what I, that, I feel that too. Like, the vibe that in the room or how I feel that day or like if there's a powerful emotion, I just try to like tap into that thing. And yeah. then it's really easy at that. You know what I'm saying? Well, yep. Also too, with, with the team, 
you know? Yeah, facts. Because y'all two guys, man, y'all got y'all got a brotherhood going on, like, dude. You know, I like, know. I, I like. I've probably like asked him a couple times, like. Uh, Oh, Can yeah, you be a third brother? No, I, I, <laughs> well, no, that's for sure. Always, 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 dude, brother. I've already, I, I already Welcome. said that they need to change the name. Yeah, MJ <laughs> thirty eight. MJ MJN. A A three eighty seven. MJ oh well, MJN A. MJ, MJ, wait a minute. A. MJ, what are your numbers, guys? If me and MJNA. A, all right, dude, that number's gonna go up. MJN A. Yeah, if me and A were in the band, MJ, it's gonna MJ, go higher than thirty eight. Forty? Thirty-eight forty-five. I'm just feeling whatever y'all's number. Well, when's your birthday? When's your birthday? <laughs> we can literally oh, figure man. out your number right, out right now. Uh, when's April twenty-third. Then what's the year? April twenty-third. So four, two, so six plus nine, nine. What's the year? Nineteen eighty-one. Yeah, start from the outside and work in, right? I think as long as you just add them all up, so you have nine plus nineteen eighty-one, so that's ten, and plus the nine, eighty-nine. That's nineteen plus the eight. Justin is adding the digits really? of all Maybe the numbers eight, to create one singular digit. Twenty-seven plus one is twenty-eight. Plus one. two. Hold on one second, guys. Yeah, your your seven number's seven. one. What? One. Oh yeah. So Justin's able to figure that number out by taking like oh. nineteen ninety-one. So nine and one together is ten. But ten is one and zero, and one and zero together is one. So he just took your ninety-one and combined it into one digit. Then he's gonna do the same thing all the way down the line for your digits until he gets to one digit finally at the end of what would be the numerical so value one, of your one, one. your birthday. Just one. <laughs> and then we could say that there's different personality types or life structures or perceptions of reality based on which number you finally lie on. Based on the the date that you were born, this has got deep. Huh. It yeah. got yeah. I, so that I, how do you? That's what thirty eight so came, that's that's came from. That's what thirty eight came from. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm the three and he's the eight. Damn, I thought. And you're one. You're one. Everybody asks us all the time, "What does MJ thirty eight mean?" Yeah. And I don't want to do that whole spiel right there. I realize that I'm going to ask them what their birthday is. Oh, that's just hit him with it. And just uh, hit him with hey, it. Hey, uh, <laughs> just do. Hey, real quick, Magic. shout out. Ace just had a birthday, so happy birthday. Hey, happy fucking birthday, hey, somebody, brother. Somebody round Thank off, you, uh, round off his birthday. You. Round off his birthday real quick. I appreciate it. Hey, what's your number? Oh, when, when's your birthday? The 77. 77. So do it. What was your day? Ass. Got him. What's your, uh, when's it, the month and day? I bet he's a uh, seven. September 13th. What's your favorite year number you're 77? September 13th, 77. Year you're born. So nine plus 13, right? 13? Yeah, nine no, thirteen I, is twenty two plus nineteen seventy seven twenty two twenty three twenty three plus nine. He was born in eighty nine. Thirty two and thirty two plus nine. No, 89. seven. Thirty two plus seven is thirty nine, and thirty seven. No, thirty nine plus seven is forty six. Dude, you were like a so range. My number forty six. No, you, no. You're, you're also a one. Four plus six is ten, oh. and one plus zero is one. What's up? Yeah, both ones. ones. So MJ and A. <gasps> Ace MJ one. And A. A. Hey, that's why they A's call it A1. A1. Ace one. This thing presents itself in the Matrix. That's oh, crazy. Oh, <laughs> Allegedly, like, you see if I had to have guessed, I would have guessed one. I'm mind blown and cross eyed at the same time. <laughs> 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 After that. After uh, that all right, if I could ask you, uh, I'm going to ask the boys a question. Boys. What's, what, what's the song right now y'all y'all just like fiending off of right now? It's like from another from other artist. Like, yeah, yeah. What's waking you up what's right now? What's my number one? Like, yeah, what's waking you up right now? What are y'all working out to? I know y'all work out. Yeah, it's yeah. Cool. Like, what, what's that couple. song that like? Is it one of your own? Is no, it... I know what you're talking about. There's always a song out there that really fucking drives the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lately, it's been for me a combination of a couple things. A couple songs off of Big Sean's newest album just dropped a couple weeks ago. So big, a couple songs off of Big Sean's album. Okay. Holvey just dropped an album as well. He's a Christian rapper. Okay. Goes fucking nuts. Oh, yeah. A couple songs off there I've been listening to, and then Chance, Chance the Rapper. Mm. He has another couple songs that mm. I've been bumping. Bad Boys 2 is crazy. Yeah, Bad Boys 2 and Stars Out, and then his other album, uh, Coloring Book. Okay. I fucking love that album. It's like a, it's almost uh. like a gospel album to a degree. It's like super heavily like spiritually influenced. He's the guy, have you heard of Chance the Rapper? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, Acid Rap, you know what I'm saying? He made Acid Rap, and then he made uh, Coloring Book. And like the, the the album covers look very similar, and I think that's because they were coming from a similar place. And acid rap was probably like his younger, more de- not degenerate self, but more juvenile, just your younger self, For more sure. mm-hmm. immature teenage, early twenties, whatever. And then probably yeah, probably like late teenage after high school. And then coloring book was a continuation of that, but acid rap came from I think the place of being that younger person experimenting with psychedelic drugs. Wow. And then like what that truth brought to you, he was able yeah. to like express that through his music. And then he did the same thing, but extended. Even further down that path, I think, in, in my in my opinion, down the right direction because it's like more spiritually based. It's more like God driven. Oh. It's like him and Jay Elect- hey, Electronica have a song know, like hey, that. Hey, once you get a hold of that power, man, 
Bro, right? it's powerful. We, it's we've just all tight. felt that too because I know uh, y'all had a couple songs uh, that we we've, we've written together that you know spread the word and you know sometimes that shit hits you amazingly, man. For sure. Yeah, we've made some sure. sheesh in the booth. You know, what about mm-hmm. you? Uh, what, 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 like what's hyping you up right now? I think we made hyping me up right now. I really like two songs in particular that I definitely jam almost every day. Um, I like "Came Out of Beast" uh, by Flaja. I think is his name. It's a Louisiana. It's a, he says he goes to LSU in that song. I don't know much about this guy, yeah. but I've been following. What's Lil it called? Wa- it's called "Came Out a Beast." Came Out a Beast. Uh, yeah. Heard. Good title. Mm-hmm. But um, <laughs> it's Good a. Like it. I follow anything Lil Wayne is on. Especially now, every feature he does is just a murder job. Like mm. he is on, he's on a run of just killing every song he gets on. And then Spotify promotes me almost anything that Lil Wayne is on. So I got promoted. This song came out of Beast, and then Flage is like the artist. It's like he was on Corday's song I was talking about earlier. He just, I'm like, whatever, I play it. But uh, and then almost I heard it, and people I show it to think that Flage kind of sounds like a woman at first, just like sonically. That's what you kind of think is going on. But he's just a young college kid that's rapping. Fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then Lil Wayne hops on and just murders the song, and the beat is like nice, dude. It's a nice beat. So I play that song and I just get gassed up to the gills. I'm like, Ace. yeah, his mm. bars are nice. What, what, what song are you going to sleep to 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 put you to sleep? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. I cannot go to sleep you're, you're to songs. Too, you're too engulfed. I, yeah, I start dissecting the song. Uh, I, I can't do it. Uh, really? I, yeah, I'm I like, want oh, the other what you, what, what, you, what you been Wait, listening to? You that's know, your what brain been, is crazy. What you been bumping lately? I've yeah. been listening to uh, recently. It's been a lot of uh, reggaeton, reg- reggaeton stuff. Um, and then uh, who's that guy, bro? I was blown away by the. Uh, I knew the song, Louis something. Uh, he was at the VMAs. He's got that real soulful. Uh, 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 gosh, it's gonna kill me because you know, we're talking about you it keep now. Keep looking I at get... me because it's. Uh, I, I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, he, uh, it's. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look yeah. it up. But I'm. I'm yeah, on. The, I'm on that soulful right now, though. You know what I mean? Like, right, like right now. But I mean, honestly, like I listen to a little bit of everything because I feel like it's most of your clients. Or? Yeah, yeah, it's mostly like. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing a lot. Of, I'm working with this company in Sweden. I was telling you about uh, earlier, and and they do. They give me like like work orders, so they're they're. They'll send me references and say like, okay, we want this style, we want that style. So a lot of it is I'm doing like research too, you know what I mean? So damn, and it's been kind of busy with that. So um, I haven't really had time to be honest with you yeah. to listen. But that guy, I, and I'm gonna find him right now. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna come back to it. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you. But yeah, um, I've 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 been like going to sleep. Like of course, like you know, I go to sleep probably like five in the morning, six uh-huh. in the morning. But what? like like. Well, psh, I mean, it's, it's studio, the life. studio life. It's life. Uh, it's so fucking nonchalant. You're, you're, you're gonna, you no, know, y- y'all just walked into that life. You'll so get yeah, ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, when the money comes, that's when you, you know, and you got nothing to wake you up in the morning. We'll but call like, you at five tomorrow. Yeah. But, <laughs> I'll be up. but mostly, uh, uh, it's really weird. I've been listening to that one uh, strange song to put me to sleep on repeat it's like who can say where no the way. road goes yeah yeah in the yeah. and like so like yeah, so like so color, so, yeah. so three times this it. week three times this week i've uh gone to sleep with that on repeat and of course who has to suffer my girlfriend the one yeah and she's like, not vibing with it are well, you getting great sleep Ah, I do. <laughs> so many questions. Okay. I do. Okay. I get great seat, but I might be waking somebody up. But hey, guess what? She's got to be up for work in 30 minutes anyways. Yeah. Right? yeah. No. It's but, a vibe. But like, it's a vibe. I don't know what the vibe but like, so, so I, think what ha- I think what happens with like uh, engineers, producers like us, people ask like, oh, who do you listen to? But like, we really mm. don't have time to really listen to anything else but what maybe You're we're writing. Yeah. yeah. So... Uh, and then someone really blew my mind, and they were like, "Dude, have you been listening to the same thirty songs your entire life?" <laughs> so, like, very like, well possible. Imagine your own playlist that you go back and listen to, like that's on YouTube. You know, it's the same damn songs. You know, I, I've been. I think about it a lot. Eighty percent, eighty percent is probably very similar. Maybe like twenty percent, you have some experimentation with. Uh, yeah. Ultimately, there are some songs that you. There's like, a formula yeah, for that, yeah, and, yeah. and the eighty percent is like when you're like sixteen to twenty years old is usually when you catch the niche for your eighty uh, percent, in my opinion, because that's why people still love eighties music. Mm-hmm. It's because like there's something about listening to in high school. You know what yeah, saying? that transformative. Well, years. What were you listening to in high school? <clears throat> Big Sean. Big Sean. 
Finally Big John, Josh Gambino. Come on. Chance hey, wasn't out yet. I know, I, I, I know you boys had a little Eminem. Lincoln Park in you. Oh, yeah. big oh, time. Of course. Hey. I have a signed fucking picture out there, Lincoln oh, Park, bro. Yeah. That was our first concert. Really? What? Yeah, hey, oh, yeah. Chester. Yeah, my Everybody. Chester's on. Chester's oh. signature's on that. Justin met him that day. I met him. Yeah. He told me happy birthday. I was like 10. God, now it's getting emotional, guys. Seriously. It was 2004, so I was How do you feel about the nine? You could not have made a better guess. Then you know what? Your, <laughs> you your, that bitch on the your nose, opinion <laughs> matters. Your opinion matters more. Like, what do you think about the new lead singer? I have not, I, I I've, I've lost touch. I've lost touch with Lincoln Park, bro. After like the first three albums, I think I, I lost touch. But, but you had to have noticed that there was a new lead singer. Of course, yeah. I, I think the only way to replace Chester was to maybe get a pretty girl. Oh wow! Okay, that's a different round entirely. It's I a mean, different because, sound. Like, any guy we're gonna hate because it's not Chester. Yeah. So maybe. Maybe they decided to put a pretty face on it. Rebrand. You know. <laughs> you know. That's a hot take. That's, that's a, hot a hot take. take. That is a hot take. I love that's a really emotional response to Chester dying, which is what it deserves. I cry I still cry sometimes. Exactly, right? You're yeah, like, Don't replace my dad. Yeah. That's me when I was twelve. Yeah. I'm not even playing with you. That's my emotional <laughs> response to yeah. loss too sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. So Sorry to end hey, on, on, a, know, on a sad I'm, note, gentlemen. I'm with you. Oh, <laughs> we got like 20 seconds left. We're not ending on that, are we? We, we are got to. We got to sign Dude, off, y'all. We're going to get cut off. Maybe we could go 30 minute audio for the Patreon. <laughs> Something. But yeah, uh, the videos of the, the, the timeout for the vids. Good times. Yeah. Good yeah. times, guys. Any last messages yeah, you want to get across? In this uh, I'll go yeah. first. Follow these gentlemen real quick. Yo, shout out to my MJ38 boys. Eee. Going big. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> don't ask questions. <laughs> Answer them. Yo. Shout out! I have to yeah. say the same. Shout out to to MJ Thirty Eight. Appreciate you guys for having us. And uh, if uh, in, in if you're in the music, I w- I would say you got you got to stick with it. Keep going. Keep, keep trucking. Going. Yeah. Keep trucking. Keep, keep going. going. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. And do it for do it for yourself and not for anybody else. That's, That's it. it. That's oh. it. That's it. The music pod. All right. Two I got I got more to say now. Just sure. yeah, yeah, one. <laughs> I need to get it back. <laughs> Yo. But we love you guys. We'll see you on the next pod. We'll see you on the next episode. Enjoy the rest of your life. Peace out. Catch you on the flip. Peace. Rolling through the city to the line.